Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and check everything's working. I think we are all good. So I think we're ready to go ahead and continue with some more Grounded. So let's go ahead and get started. I see over on the Twitchy side, we have Unforgiven774, who is indeed first. And over on YouTube, we have Dave Lister, who is second. So guys, give yourselves a hashtag early crew. And you have been awarded to the early crew Fox piece. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, guys. I hope you're doing well. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and continue off from before. So in the last episode, we were working on some more zipline stuff. Uh, we've been doing more on the bug museum as well as you can see so uh, we now have uh, our displays looking a little bit better we've finished off most of these things now um, so yeah lots of this has been done we just really need to grind out quests from Virgil and uh, get more raw science because this art gallery upstairs that we're that we're starting off with is uh, is not going to complete itself we need to get all the sign frames so uh, lots of uh, lots of questing we're gonna need to do um, in order to appease our robot overlord and uh, yeah hopefully get enough raw science to to be able to build more of these sign frames and how you doing segment welcome to the stream i hope you're having a fantastic day i hope everyone's having a fantastic day and happy halloween everybody i hope you guys are gonna be uh doing some cool stuff tonight we're actually gonna have a movie night over in the fox millions discord um courtesy of mr unforgiven i'm not sure what we're watching yet but i think i have a good idea what it might be okay so let's go ahead and make our way all the way up the tower i had to light this tower up eventually um i am pretty much empty on supplies which is good um i do need to collect some more acorns as well so going back to the oak tree is probably a good idea and uh, hey now you can now you got our zipline tower that takes us right there yeah! <laughs> and dave says hashtag early late crew here <laughs> early late crew no nah, you're still you're still early you're still early dude it's all good <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and zip on over to our uh, pond area. But we're just going to kind of stop outside the oak tree and uh, I guess see what Burgle has and then collect some acorns. That keep you safe. Okay. Safe fur. And the cool thing is, while we're on the zip line, we can like equip armor and kind of sweat everything out, can't we? So that's a good thing. But yeah, as you can see, the zip line is nice and fast, which is really good. It takes us all the way back over here pretty quickly. Now there is some everchard down over there that I do need to grab. I can actually see it glowing from here, I think. So, yeah, that's uh, that's something we're going to need to do at some point. But for right now, we just have to go ahead and make our way over to the lab. It's a little bit dark, but things will get lit up when we get there. So it is all good. So here we go. It's going to take us to this root of the oak tree. And from here, we can go straight to Burgle and see what, uh, see what our robot overlord wishes us to complete today. Um, I do need to actually go back to base to eat and drink, as you can see, we are actually uh, very low on both food and water. So I think what we'll do is we'll go to Burgle first. And then once we get to him, we will go ahead and head back home. So let's go make our way up here. It's very dark out here, so yeah, stamina is not going to recover fast. So I hope I don't get killed by a wolf spider, but knowing my luck, I'm probably going to, because that's what wolf spiders like to do. They like to, you know, just come and randomly slay you where you stand. Because, you know, that's just that's just in their nature. They they kind of wander around here, so you've got to be a little careful. Okay. Um, oh. Alright, here we go. Let's go make our way up here. I actually posted some stuff on the Grounded Reddit as well. I've actually uh, I've actually joined the Grounded Reddit, guys. That's a, a, an achievement for me. I'm actually on Reddit. <laughs> but I'm not known as Max Xbox Gamer on Reddit. They've assigned me a random username. I'm, I'm apparently on Reddit. I'm known, I'm known as Tricky Turnover. <laughs> <laughs> which is which is hilarious. Uh, this is very good idea. The zip lines it saves time. Yes, it does. It is is awesome. Just how much time it saves here. Right. Hello, Mr. Burgle. Always happy to see a repeat customer. How are you doing? I want to get some quests. And please don't make me craft useless shit today. Three bold quests. What have we got to craft today? Oh, hunt fireflies. Okay. Oh, and ladybug and lava. Okay. So, well, those ones aren't worth much for science, but hey, lava are easy to find, so that's not too bad. Okay. Uh, nice do we have? Day enough raw science to buy another sign set yet we do not okay so after these quests are done we'll have enough um we'll have enough to be able to buy the next load of signs because remember we have to in order to 100 we have to purchase every one of, Bur of burgle science unlocks so doing a lot of quests finding a lot of uh finding a lot of things has to be done um so how do you do that yeah it is i can i can take that to just really quickly help my uh thirst can i say wait no don't drop it you want to eat it no eat it eat it it's like, but Pete's like, but I don't want to eat aphid poo. Or is that sap? Oh, no, that's actually sap. It looked like aphid poo. Okay, fine. We can we can drop the sap. They like the aphid honeydew. All right. Well, I'll just have to eat the aphid instead. <laughs> I am the reaper. 
<laughs> I am the Halloween Reefer, Slayer of Aphids, Slaughterer of Lava and Fireflies, and uh, uh, in some cases, uh, Wolf Spiders and Ladybugs, yeah. Okay, let's get down here. Hopefully I got some food left on here. Yes, I do. So let's go and put this guy on. I came prepared, guys. I actually came prepared. Look at that. Yay. Okay, let's go and well, see that one. But not bad. Okay, so that'll be fine. That should fill us up relatively completely. I do have a fungus battery back at the other base as well. Let's go and sort our uh, thing out here as well. So at least it's given me some interesting bugs to hunt this time, rather than just like, oh, hunt a gnat or kill an aphid. And I know exactly where we can find the lava as well, so that's good. Right, let's go ahead and uh, make our way out. So canteen is filled. Let's go ahead and find some lava, some ladybugs. The ladybugs will be a little bit more difficult to find. But at least I know where the lava and the fireflies are. Although I don't have my crossbow, so it might be a little bit harder to hunt them. So, uh, yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely glad we built this zipline network up, because, yeah, lots of time gets saved with those. But yeah, we should be able to find some lava. Um, actually, we've, we've actually got a location marked, haven't we? Lava Cave is just over here, which is full of them. So we should be able to go straight over there and kill off a few of those guys. And that will help actually fill my food up a bit as well. Yeah, this uh, the Welp flavor drink is actually, it does give you some nutrient as well. So you can actually, you know, fill your food up completely from just the drops inside the can. And it seems that the drops do kind of convene together, which is pretty nice. So yeah, if we head down this way, we should make our way to Lava Cave. And then we can head left from there, and then we'll get to, uh, we'll get to where the fireflies are. And then it's just a matter of killing ladybugs. So yeah, five lava for a hundred raw science. It's not the best, but hey, it's it's a hundred raw science, so it all helps in the end. So, and if anyone asks, Burger made me do it. It's not my fault. We have to appease our robot overlords, guys. The, the robot overlords must be must be appeased. It was funny though. At one point, the buried lava under the ground didn't count for killing them, uh, but they do now. They that was like a bug. They, I think they were like a different um, a different type of bug or a different entity in in the code so it didn't count towards completing the quest but hey let's go down here and hopefully we'll find some uh some victims uh i mean willing participants for our experiment there's one two three four. they're all sleeping four and five there we go all right, come on then. Anyone else want some? These guys literally had no idea. Got him. Well, that was easy. And the bodies of lava littered the cave floor as the assassin collected all the body parts. <laughs> and then he used his lava spikes to decorate his pets. <laughs> there you go. This game needs a base jumping suite. That'd be fun. Yeah, that'd be pretty. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> all right. Well, there's the lava's done. Uh, th those those guys are all dead. So I guess fireflies is the next option. It might be getting too close to morning though, so we may not see. Wait, that's going the opposite way to where I gotta go. I gotta go over this way towards the. Uh, if we come over this way. Yeah, it's kind of leading towards this, uh, towards Rash over here, isn't it? Yeah, that's where we want to go. We might see some fireflies over here. We might do, we might not. It just depends, honestly. Um, okay, got to be a bit careful here, because this is where the stink bugs like to hang out. So hopefully we do not run into one of those. Uh, right, let's look for... Let's look, let's look for glistening butts in the dark and see what we can find, shall we? Um, and I guess what we can do is, if we want to, if we actually want to get their attention, we can just grab a pebble and throw it at them, right? And that'll, that 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 should work. If any, if any of them are here anyway, it might be too late in the night now, so they may have already gone. They they tend to convene around dusk and then leave around like two a.m. before they come from there. So there we go. And uh, slotty barge fast. Welcome to the stream, dude. How are you doing? <laughs> So we have Mr. Dave over on the Twitchy side as well, which is awesome. Right, we're back on Weaver Island right now. And a new Super Fox that has joined. And thank you, Daniel. Thank you so much for becoming a member, dude. It's very much appreciated. How are you doing? Thank you very much for that YouTube membership, dude. All right, so do we have any fireflies in the area? Or have they all left for the night? Let's have a look. I have water fleas, but no fireflies. I'm not seeing glowing buttholes. Well, that's no good, is it? Nope, I don't see uh, 
I don't see any glowing buttholes in the wetlands, so I think the fireflies have already left. And yeah, as you can see, it's actually starting to get light already. So yeah, the fireflies have already left, so we're going to have to wait another... We have to wait another day before we can go kill them. So I guess we'll just have to look for ladybugs. Uh, take those guys out and it should be good. Teddy Gaming says, uh, Grounded is not Halloween-y. <laughs> um, it, it, it could be. You know, get, getting getting accosted by wall spiders in the dark. You know, but bugs can be creepy. And hey, who said it had to be halloween -y? We're having a movie night later anyway, so, you know, that, that kind of covers the halloween -y stuff. <laughs> I'm being different. Everyone is playing scary games. I'm being different and not really playing a super scary game. Well, unless you're unless you're like arachnophobic, of course, then it's probably actually very, very scary. You know, it's, it's kind of scary, you know, traveling through the dark in the middle of the night and, you know, having infected weevils running after you and things like that. I guess. But yeah, we need to, we need to find ladybugs and kill them. I hear an infected gnat over here. I don't really want to... don't really want to deal with you. Um... Oh, is this the is this the cave where there's just random random clay in it? Yeah, this is the cave where there's just like random randomly two pieces of clay at the end. They really should have like a, a milk floor or some real science down there. That'd be a really good place for it. I wonder if the devs just forgot that that cave exists. Okay, I hear ladybug. Here we go. Here is ladybug. How you doing? I'm gonna use this on you. Boosh, boosh, boosh. Ow! Damn it! <laughs> Don't hurt me, dammit! There we go, got the sun. And then get this thing. There we go. One ladybug down. Okay. We need to get more ladybug parts anyway, so... Actually, that's a good thing. Um, and Dave says, well done, GNM. Indeed, indeed. Teddy says, uh, I'm going to dress up soon and stream scary games. Nice! Oh, hey! You bloody... I need your stuffing. Give me that. <laughs> Give me that. Right, let's see if we can find... Um, okay, so let's see if we can find any more ladybugs just, like, hanging around. They, they tend to sleep by the oak tree as well, so maybe we'll find some around there. You never know. Alright, there's a sleepy stink bug over to my right, so we don't want to go that way, because uh, I'll probably die. Okay, so let's make our way over this way, and hopefully we'll find additional ladybuggage. Um, I do need some acorns, though. That's kind of what I came for as well, so... Okay, I guess we can swap back into our antlion set as well, because, uh, yeah, we're doing pretty good here, so... Got that. There you go, because it's not, it's not too dark now, so it's about to become it's about to become daytime. So let me go find some acorns as well, because we're going to need all those for our sign frames. Um, acorns and brood rope and all that stuff. We need acorn tops. We also need acorn tops for our ladders, too, so we need to kind of collect yeah. as many of these things as we can. Um... Okay, and I guess I guess we'll collect uh, tree sap and plant fibers here as well because I do need more crude rope um, being collected anyway. So I guess we will uh, I guess we will grab as much as we can in the area because yeah, plant fibers like we do need that we do need to get a ton more of those actually really. So yeah, we'll go ahead and collect those on the way as well, and hopefully we find some more stuff. Uh, there's uh, the thanks, days. Uh, why uh, why can't I send links? Oh, because you're probably a you're probably not set to a moderator as as your new one. That's probably why. I'll have to sort that out in a little bit. But you can um, you can post them as well in your it, it well in the uh, content creators Discord part as well. Um, you can post them in there, and then everyone will be able to see it from the Discord too. I'll get your mod status resorted out with that as well. Um, hold on a second. Let's see. We we should have more acorns around here surely. There's one. Uh, any more plant fibers? Nope, but acorn shells and acorn tops is what I'm after, so let's go and grab as many of these as we can. Yeah, we kind of decided yesterday as well with the, um, what, did that one give me four? That'll actually give me four acorn shells. Well, that's that's how many they should give you by default anyway. <laughs> like, uh, you know, the, the the whole acorn seems to split into three or four pieces. So it kind of makes sense that that's, like, the actual amount that they would give you. There's two more acorns over here, so let's go and grab these. Okay, there's one. Yeah, at least we're getting plenty of acorn tops today. Yeah, so sometimes you just get really unlucky and you don't get acorn tops. And it's just like, why, damn it? Like, this one gave me an acorn top, but not the shell. I wonder if it depends on where you hit it, or if it's just a random... Like, if you hit it in a certain spot, you're more likely to get the tops or the shells. It's, pro it's probably not. It's probably just programmatically random. Um, but hey, it's, it's a, thing, a thing worth asking. Hey, if it's how you doing? Okay, so wolves, uh, wolf spiders are going to be around here as well. 
but hopefully we're going to be fine. So let's go and grab more plant fibers as we see them as well. But yeah, so we need to find more ladybugs, and then when it comes to nighttime, we can hunt the fireflies. And Aether just got slaughtered somewhere. <laughs> And uh says I was I was expecting a scary haunted house thing with jump scares, but this is okay too. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, a lot a lot of people will be expecting scary games for Halloween, but hey, I I'm different. <laughs> I'm just different. Okay, I hear another ladybug somewhere. Where are you? You must be slain. There you are. Hello, ladybug. Come on, Ed. There you go, now you got a stun, and we should be able to take you out of this. There you go. Two dead ladybugs. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> yeah, this 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 great sword makes short work of ladybugs as well, which it which is a really nice thing. I'm glad that the uh I'm glad that the great sword at least does a good amount of damage to him. It seems like the great sword is better is a better use than the um than the morning star. Um on those guys. It might be though, because the Morning Star is like um, a salty damage type. So it could just be that. I hear another one. There it is. Here's our, la here's our last uh, victim. I mean, willing participant. Okay. Oh, you knocked me over. Huh. There you go. And there we go. 300 raw science for us. We need more Ladybug parts anyway, so. That's a good thing. So yeah, all we got to do now is hunt fireflies on the next night, and then we can get new quests. So that sounds like a plan. So yeah, let's keep getting plant fibers around this area. As you can see, there's there's just a lot of them growing around the oak tree. A lot of these little, a lot of these little shoots here. Plus, save a do we can find as well, and sap. So we'll grab we'll grab all that we can, and we'll see how many acorns we can just find here. Because yeah, if you want to make every sign frame in in the game, you have to have a lot of acorn parts. So we have to grind these out pretty much. There we go. Um, let's see. So it says, uh, it says uh, I seem to be, uh, I seem to be on a delay in chat. It might be just stream delay. I've not, I've not put slow mode on or anything like that. Could just be YouTube and YouTube, honestly. Why I'm kind of thinking of going Twitch exclusive, honestly, at this point, because yeah, YouTube seems to be doing a lot to just screw things up for me right now it's like hey let's not notify people when you go live oh hey let's make let's make the stream like really laggy and far behind and oh hey let's make chat delay it's like hmm <laughs> it's a, see, seems like the odds are against me over on the youtube side so yeah i may end up just going to twitch honestly and just staying over there i'm i'm seriously considering it i've, I've been in two minds about it for like a week now but really really thinking about it okay let's see if we can find any more See if we can find more acorns in the area. If we can, then oh you bugger! I was gonna get that. Stupid ant! Eat the acorn bits, not the honeydew. Okay, did we get any more acorn tops out of that? No, just some shells. Um, okay, so no acorn tops from there. Okay, so I'm guessing the wolf spiders are gonna be asleep in here. Yes, they are. So. Don't really need to engage with those guys, but I will take all the other stuff around here I can find. So how's our inventory looking? So we got a, okay, we got a fair few plant fibers already, but we're gonna we're gonna need more. So I will keep looking for them and trying to pick them up as we go. Because yeah, lots of uh, each of these uh, sign phrases requires four crude ropes, so it's not the cheapest in the world. So I definitely need to be grabbing as much of this as I can. Uh, don't think that one gave me any. That one was stingy. There you go. Let's go and grab these. Okay, a couple of bits of sap right there. I will take these and this one. And this one. There we go. And that one. <laughs> yes, Tanny, I'm leaving acorn bits. <laughs> you could uh, hey, at least at least if you come join the game though, you'll be uh you'll be all good. You'll be all good. You have you have plenty of food around the oak tree, because I've just left I've, I've just left it. See, I'm a generous person. I leave food for everybody. Even the bugs if they want it. As long as they don't steal my food, then they then they die. Yeah, de death to anyone who steals anything but the acorn bits that I leave behind. <laughs> Alright. So I guess what we'll do is we'll walk, uh, we'll manually walk back to the other place because, um, oh yeah, there's a, there, I reckon there should be a milk molar in that cave there. It's kind of, it's, it's not quite an anthill cave. It just literally goes, you know, under here and then 
back out up to here, but it would be a really good place to have a milk bowler in it. But unfortunately, there is, uh, you know, the little hidden crevices in the backyard would be a good, would be a very good place to uh, to grab them. But unfortunately, there is no milk bowler in there. So yeah, we're just going to pretty much ra just take a slow walk back to base, find all the plant fibers in the area that we can, pick them all up. Um, I guess I could start collecting mushrooms as well. Um, yeah, you know, what, I might start doing that on the way back as well. Collect some of these. And then we can go ahead and uh, process up more of these because we're going to need those for you know more mushroom bricks anyway. So kind of makes sense that we just grab those if we can as well, if we see them. If, if they happen to be uh, in our path, I'm not going to go out of my way to get them. I'm just going to, you know, get them on the way back because it's mainly plant fibers I need anyway. So I don't want to be filling up my, uh, I don't want to be filling up my inventory with um, stuff that I don't need as much of because, yeah, the crude ropes are definitely the more important thing at this point. Um... And Chad says, um, Chad says, uh, Sh Shorty, you can survive it. <laughs> um, to survive, survive Shorty? Um, uh, and uh, this says, I could like for a bit while I make a chicken made sandwich. Nice. Tay says, it's Halloween. Like, real scary games today. I'll get the, uh, I'll get the bits tomorrow. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, I, I'm sure you will. You'll be like, Max, stop leaving acorn bits behind. I'm like, what? I have to feed the local populace of bugs because then they give me bug parts when I slay them. The tougher the foe, the more good stuff I get. See, there's there's a method to my madness, guys. Oh, honeydew, hello. I'll go ahead and take that. Alright, see, so we'll make our way slowly but surely back. Any plant fiber I see, like, directly in front of me, I'm going to grab. I think there's actually some mushrooms just over here, isn't there? I think there is. Is there mushrooms around this area? Okay, this one. Oh yeah, they're right, they're right there. It's like, yeah, li literally right next to me. Hello. Yeah. Let's go and chop these down. And I will grab those as well. Yeah, I, I probably just want to grab like maybe one stack of these. Nothing too much. And then I can get more by the sandbox later, right? So, yeah. The starting area is actually pretty good for plant fibers. They're, they're kind of sort of just scattered around everywhere. So you can just pick them up pretty easy. But it's only plant fibers that I want. So... No sprigs. If we need sprigs as well, I can go back to that one area that just has like hundreds of them. Um, and just grab them from there. Because yeah, you, you can you can gather so many sprigs. It's actually quite ridiculous. We're going to have to go on another quartzite run again as well. Because I do need to be uh, starting my uh, selling my armory with all the weapons and stuff in it soon. Which we'll get to. Still trying to do the... Uh, still trying to finish off the bug museum a little bit by bit. But we're getting there. Again, that's slow but surely. And Better Wolfie says, uh, I got someone here who misses you and wanted to say hello. How you doing, Better Wolfie? Welcome to the stream. And who be that? Oh, one thing I wanted to ask you, um, by the way, is Mantra okay? I kind of had like a weird, I kind of had like a weird thought, <laughs> like the, like just, just last night. And I was, I was, I just, I just wanted to know, is Mantra, is Mantra okay? <laughs> kind of a, kind of an off the cuff thing. Hello. Um, let's see, and. Uh, yeah. And lying home, go to and uh, and uh, Tay says Antilion. Yes, uh, the outline is funny. Jill says lag. <laughs> Try refreshing if it's lagging out. It should be okay. Let me see. Let me see. Um, can I go uh, this way? All right. So, Madam Wolfie, who be the someone? Is it a Temperance? Is it a Casey? Is it a Mancha? Is it a Jiffy? <laughs> oh, is that, is that it be a Temperance? And no, sadly, sadly, she's so so. Mancha's not okay. So that wasn't a. So that wasn't a. Uh, so, so that that gut feeling was not a. Uh, was what 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 was it was a kind of a thing. Okay. So what's up with Mancha right now? And hi, Temperance. How you doing? Uh, hold on a minute. Okay, let's go and get these mushrooms over here. They're right here. So yeah, plant fibers, mushrooms, and all this kind of stuff is what we need. Hang on, let me get them here. Yeah, I, ca I kind of got, I kind of just got like a weird feeling last night. It was like it, I don't know. It was, it was like it, well, like three a.m., four a.m. this morning. I kind of, I just got this weird feeling. I was like, hmm, I wonder if French is okay. <laughs> um. Let me see. Um, right, let's go back over this way now. So we should be able to find some more plant foes. Um, not really too worried about killing the aphid right now. 
Or the Weevil. We don't really... Well, I'm going to need to make the stuff infected Weevil at some point, but we... We can worry about that later, because one Weevil means it's going to take up all our space, isn't it? So, that's fine. We'll go ahead and just get the... Uh, okay, so from right here, we're not going to find many... Uh, we're not going to find many plant fibers here, so we'll head straight across here. And hopefully not get farted on by a stink bug, because that'd be bad. Um, so, uh, we've got a friend and she needs surgery to get it out. Uh, sadly, uh, it hurt her back, so she isn't mobile right now. Oh, wow! That is not good. I hope the surgery on her is not going to be like way too risky. Okay, oh no, don't go that way. <laughs> don't go that way. I hear a sting bug over there. We don't want to go that way. Let's go this way. <laughs> Let's go this way. Um. All right. Well, actually, uh, actually, child, I have to go to the sandbox anyway to treasure hunt. So I tell you what, we'll uh, we'll get some plant fibers, get some crude crafting up at the base, because uh, we're pretty much heading towards there anyway, and then we'll go into the sandbox because I do have my antlion armor, and then we shall fight to the Monsieur Antlion Antillon. But yeah, I'll get some stuff crafting first, and uh, I think what we'll do, we'll get stuff crafting. Then I'll kill the fireflies. There's gonna be a mosquito over here, isn't there? Yep. Hello. Come on in. Suck, suck my blood. Nope. No blood for you. Come here. Is that better? Yep, there we go. Now he's full of blood. Now I can harvest him. There we go. I will take that blood sack and make heal basses with it. Mwahahaha. Okay, how's my health looking? Not too bad. Water is getting low though, so... Luckily, I have a canteen. Look at that. Woohoo! Don't even need to boil it. And then it says, I have to go on my work, but message me on Facebook after your stream, and I'll fill you in and everything with her. Bye, have fun. Much love always. Alrighty then. Well, I hope you have a good day, rest of your day at work, and happy Halloween as well to you. And yeah, I'll I'll, uh, I'll, I'll talk to you later then, and see uh, see what's going on. Alright. Oh, bombardier. Bombardier, bombardier. Don't want to go that way. Well, actually, it's not too bad if we go that way. We, 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 we could probably take him. We could probably take him. Alright. So let me see if we can find any more. Wait, I'm going the right way, aren't I? Um, the house is that way. Yeah, but. <laughs> hey, Max, why don't you head towards the house marker that you placed? That would be an idea, wouldn't it? You know, you it's like you place this thing here for a reason, so you would be able to find your home. Maybe you should head that way. It might be good. I'm, I'm just getting so sidetracked picking up plant fibers. <laughs> yeah, it's the thing. If we just pick them up as, as we go. Um. We should be okay. Okay. Go on then. You have no blood in you. No, you do. Right. Come here. Now I must harvest you. There we go. Right, there's one. Right, come on then. No blood for you. There you go. Right, so this guy has been, uh, these guys have been, uh, taken care of. That's what happens when you try and harvest my blood. You die. Okay, plant fiber there. Okay, yeah, we, we should find a load of plant fibers just on the way back here as well. Alright, let's go make our way over here. There we go. And we'll come up here. And let's grab all this stuff. All this stuff and things. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that it? Yeah, that's it over here. Okay. Wait. I thought I just saw it over there. Did I just see another one? Yeah, I did. Yay! I actually saw something. It's amazing. Oh, there's fireworks going on outside. Yeah, I went to bed really early last night. Apparently, I slept through um, all the fireworks that happened. <laughs> That's, that's such a that's such a typical me thing to do though. I tend to like sleep through everything. Like li literally a nu a nucleus a nuclear war could be going outside. And I just sleep through it. Hey, Amen. <laughs> I don't know why I killed you. That just wasted that just completely wasted the spot of momentary. But oh well, it's fine. It's, it's whatever. Um. Okay, let's go and grab these guys. Well, at least at least have dinner. That's a good thing, right? Yeah. That now, now I don't have to feel so bad for just like saying that. Oh, okay. There's been a. There's some more infected ladybug action going on around here, hasn't there? Yeah. 
Whenever you, whenever you see um, whenever you see grass just randomly, th th this grass here is not something I've chopped down. So whenever you see random grass here, um, that's usually an infected ladybug. I think I hear it somewhere as well, but yeah, we're, we're gonna we'll worry about that later. We just need to head home, get some crude crafting, and then we can uh, wait till nighttime, hunt the fireflies in the area. Right, here's my uh, here's my farm plots. And it looks like our mushrooms did grow, so that's a good thing. So I probably have to harvest those later. But yeah, let's go make our way back into base, and we should be pretty good. Alright, so back to the castle base. Built with my own two hands and many dead bug bodies. <laughs> See, this castle is kind of Halloween-y, because it's, built, it's pretty much built with the remains of dead bugs. <laughs> and we've probably killed a lot of weevils in the process of building this castle as well, because we've been taking their mushroom food sources. So we've... Uh... Yeah, we, we've probably been doing some damage to the bug population, honestly. See? It can be scary. I'm always tempted to get more spinning wheels here. But that's fine, let's go and get this craft thing up. So we got some stuff right here. Alright, here we go. Let's just get these added. There we go, so... Here we go. All right, there we go. So now we can go into there, into there, into there, and into there. There we go. So you got a few more stacks of plant fibers. I can consume this thing. There we go. And we got a little bit of extra. All right, let's go to our loot, and then we can go ahead and get going after that. So we need to put. Okay, where's our? Okay, lava box first. We kill a load of those uh, up there. This is the lava box, as you can see, and we have a lot of lava spikes, actually. We should be able to make a ton of liquid rage smoothies, which will probably help in certain areas, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, sort this out here. Um, tree sap can now go in this one, so yeah, this is my uh, sap and acorns box. Anything you find around the oak tree and, I guess, dry grass as well, I'm kind of keeping in here. As you can see, now we got a load of acorn shells and tops, so we should have enough to do some more sign frames soon. Um, but yeah, we need to speak to Burgle more for that. Um, I guess, actually, what we can do is these mushroom trumps that I got, we can go ahead and put these guys right in here. I think I've actually got some more in here, haven't I? Yeah, let's go and grab these, and we can start making the uh, start making the slurries with these, and just get them get them on the workstations. There you go. And here we go. put those on there. And then we got a little bit left, so let's go and just chuck that down there. Um, okay, what else do we have here that I can put away? So, mate fuzz. So, the fuzz box is down here. See, I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually categorizing all my stuff because yeah, every, everyone's been saying the sorting fairy needs to visit, and uh, it looks like it has now, which is pretty cool. Um, all right, so we need spider silk. We can go in there. We got a fair amount of spider silk now. It's just the crude rope that we're very, very short on, so we kind of have to, kind of have to get that sorted. Let me kind of, you know, do, do this a little bit and make it. A little bit easier to find our stuff. There we go. So we should get another 40 out of that. We can make another up to another 88. So looking pretty good. So mosquito blood sacks can go up in here in our mosquito box. Yes, the mosquito box. We actually have a box of like mainly mosquito beaks, honestly, because I've just been using. Um... Okay, we can actually add those there as well. Yeah. So we've actually got. Hang on, how many have we got here? We we have 52 mosquito blood sacks right now. That's uh, that's quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, we you you can just see just from the amount of beaks that we have, how many mosquitoes we've actually killed. And I've not collected all their beaks either, so the actual number is significantly more than this. Um, but yeah, we've been uh, we've been slaying a lot of things. Uh, ladybug box. Where is the ladybug box? It is this one. Um, I kind of need to think I need to make that a brighter red, but I don't think they have the color option for that. Uh, so more ladybug parts. There we go. We're finally not looking so bad on ladybug parts anymore. So that's a good thing. And then aphid honeydew can go up in the food box. Yeah, a little bit of a uh, loot put away edge. There we go. So this can go in there. Okay, yeah, we've, we're pretty much full on, uh, pretty much full on nectar and honeydew. So yeah, spider sliders are going to be very easy to make with all those parts that we've got as well. So that's good. Let's go and get our fungus patch out of here. And I'm getting hungry, so I may as well just eat it straight away. There we go. So I'll eat those, and it's going to be getting dark soon. So what I'll do is I'll grab my crow crossbow, and then we'll go and hunt those fireflies, and go from there. <laughs> Holly's like, nah. <laughs> How you doing, Holly? Welcome to the stream. Yes, you in particular have been saying the sorting fairy needs to visit. And the sorting fairy has now visited. It came in the it came in the form of uh, me actually giving crap about how my base looks and and and, and ran. So uh, it kind of worked. Kind of, kind of worked, didn't it? Um, okay, so 
We can make some. I think we can make some more sign frames though. So let's go and see if we can do those before it gets dark. So we should have. Okay, we have like one group of each. Eh, I might. I might wait for. I might wait for next day because these things do take a while. So yeah, maybe I'll wait. Maybe I'll wait. It's fine. So the other thing I did want to do is get like some armor stands around here. And I, I was thinking, considering we've killed so many red ants, we need to just have armor stands just filled with red ant armor, don't we? Because like. We, we we have slain so many red ants. Like it's not it's not even funny. But yeah, this is this area is looking pretty good now. You got like the floating bees. But yeah, we we I definitely think we need some armor stands just decorated with red ant armor. And that's not too hard to get either. It's actually pretty easy. Um yeah, I said, Yay, sorting. <laughs> sorting. Yeah, sorting is good. Sorting is great. Unless you're a max fox and sorting sucks you can't see where you put anything. But it's okay, it's fine. It's fine, we, we do with it. Um, okay, so yeah, I guess it's getting towards dusk now, isn't it? Yeah, so the fireflies should be coming out any minute now. So let us get crossbow. Oh yeah, I got all this clay now, so I have to make a few things, but let's get the crossbow. Um, we'll grab this, and I guess we really don't need that many arrows, honestly, because we can we only have to kill five of them, and shooting these guys down is pretty easy, honestly, because um, they go they go quite slow. Oh, and that's already assigned to the slot them before. Look at that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, most of my uh, arrows get lost, but hey, we only need a few. So let's head back towards the wetlands. We got our crow crossbow now, so we can go and shoot down the fireflies. I think that's worth like 500 raw science as well, so that's actually pretty good. So yeah, ki killing fireflies is actually very easy. I don't get it. Like, kill killing ladybugs is a lot harder, yet it only gives you 300 raw science for three kills. Whereas fireflies, I guess because it gives you 500 for five kills, they're considered the same difficulty, but they're, they're really not. Uh, I hope you will. I'm doing good, thank you. Hope you're doing good as well. And hope you're having a good Halloween too. Okay. I guess if we see any more plant fibers in the area, we will go pick them up as well. Just so we got enough for, uh, you know, additional crew group. Because, like I said, we're going to need a lot of it. Like, the, the amount of plant fibers we have collected right now is not going to be enough. So, we should, we will need more. Uh, do thistle bushes respawn their thistles now? Well, it hasn't really affected me, but it looks like they're still spawning them. So, that's a good thing. Alright, so let's go down this way and we should see... I'm probably walking over every conceivable plant fiber in the uh, in the area, but that's fine. There's actually one right there, two right here. Lots right here actually. Come on, Pete, pick them up. Yes, I know you're holding a crossbow with two hands, so really you shouldn't be able to pick them up. But pick them up. There's another weevil over here. They say weevils wobble, but they don't fall down. But I I I I uh, I have to disagree with that. Especially when I'm around, they all they all fall over and die. Okay. Is that a bee over there? Yes, a bee. Okay. So let's go and see if we can start seeing any fireflies. Because, yeah, they, they kind of start to show up around dusk. So pretty much what we want to do is, you know, kind of stand stand around here. And we should eventually see them coming into the area. All we have to do is watch out for the wolf spiders. I hear another mosquito as well. So let's go ahead and uh, grab some other plant fibers if we see any whilst we're here. But, yeah, we're going to have to hunt some fireflies. Where's that mosquito at? There you are. Come here, you. Come here. There you go, there you for the blood. You're ready for harvesting. Yes, knocked him out of the sky. Killed him. There we go. I love I love that this thing could just like knock him out of the sky. Hello. I knew you'd be showing up. I knew you'd be showing up, you little shit. There you go. Well, I guess we got some wolf spider parts. <laughs> I knew! I knew we'd have a wolf spider around here. Then I, I was just thinking, we're probably going to have to like take care of the resident wolf spider, because he kind of comes down this way sometimes. But yeah, he wasn't too uh, he wasn't too hard to fight. <laughs> just turned to my left, and there he is. He's just like right there. I was like, he was like come at me, bro. I was like, stab, 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 stab. There you go. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I suppose they're a lot easier to take on now. Uh, I got some ants over here. Okay, yeah, I'm not seeing really any... I see a lot of gnats here, but we don't really need the gnat fuzz anymore. Well, we might need gnat fuzz at some point, but at this point we really don't. Um, actually, though, I could I could get the gnat meat for gnat jerky for nachos, right? But then again, I'm going to waste my arrows if I do that right now. I'll probably come back another time. But yeah, that's what we'll do. Because um, if Shara wants to see some uh, killing in the sandbox... 
then we can definitely go and do that in a sec once I've done this burger quest. Because I really have to start prioritizing the burger quest now just so we can get all this raw science. Because pretty much, um, is that a stink bug I just said? I think a stink bug has literally wandered into the wetlands here. Which is quite a, rare, uh, quite, quite a rare thing. I can't even speak. It's quite a rare thing. It's not like a stink bug was around this area, but I guess we'll find out. Looks like there should be some kind of cave here, but there's not. Like, there's like a raised mound. You're like, hmm. Because there used to be a cave in this wetlands, but they blocked it up. Um, so you can't get into where it used to be anymore. It's like another underwater one. But, yeah, there is uh, there is no such cave anymore. Alright, come on, Fireflies, where you at? I've got all day, Fireflies. Well, yes, I have. I kind of have. I kind of do. There you are. <laughs> Hello there. Right, okay, they've started to show up now. So this is uh, this is our opportunity to slay as many as we can. And I shall collect all of your iridescent scales and bioluminescent goop, I shall have you know. Right, so let's wait for these guys to kind of stay still. There you go. Go on, get out of your crossway, Pete. Oh, I'm swimming still. Okay, there you go. In the bum. There's one. Don't fart on me, that's not very nice. There you go. Okay. Ow, you bugger. Have that. There you go. There's three. Three dead fireflies. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, yeah, this is the, uh, this is the perfect time to be hunting them. Right, well, there's three. I've seen a few more, so the bees are still hanging out here, but we might see some more. Stay up over here. Run, we will run! <laughs> Run, Weevil, run! You can do this! You got this! Keep running! Ah, what a shame. <laughs> Mr. Weevil has been taken has been taken out. Okay, well, there's three of them. We just need a uh, horse's uh, uh, butt juice. Yuck. Hey, hey, it's, it's called bioluminescent goop, okay? It's not butt juice. Well, it, it kind of is, but it, but it's not. It's it's, it's different. It's, di I, I, it's different, okay? I swear, don't judge me. <laughs> Okay, so are there any more fireflies around this area? They should be starting to show up pretty soon. It's actually nighttime now, so we should see more here. Let me um, go more this way and see if we find more. It could be that I've killed them recently and they've just not respawned yet as well, because uh, I did go on a big firefly killing spree the other day. Okay, I'll tell you what we can do then. Let me get my uh, let me get my zip line, and we will take it back to the pond area. If I don't see any more here. We'll get our zipline to the pond and we'll go to the other side. Um, well, actually, we can take our zipline to the hedge, can't we? Um, and that'll give us a good overview. Do you have a glare on me? I do. Good. Yeah, that'll give us a good overview, right? So that sounds like a better idea. We'll go to the hedge. Because over there, we should see some more fireflies. There's usually some in the wetlands by that hedge. But it's going to be a little bit quicker to just zip over there. A little bit quicker, a little bit safer. Yeah. We set up these zip lines, we may as well use them. Even though technically I'm walking backwards to go forwards, but hey, I always do that, so it's fine. It's fine. That says uh, any Halloween clans go uh go out with Fate tonight somewhere. Oh no no, no we're not we're not going anywhere. <laughs> nah, we, we we never go out, we always stay inside. Nah, we're having a having a movie day over on the Fox Millions Discord server, so you yeah, is more than welcome to attend if you want to. Hosted by Mr. Unforgiven. So it should be fun. I don't know what, what movie we're going to watch here, but I'm assuming it's going to be scary. We're planning like a Halloween stream, and then we're just like, well, you know. <laughs> everybody doing Halloween streams, so we'll do a movie night instead. <laughs> that way it's kind of more personal. Kind of, sort of, maybe. Okay, so back to the back to the castle. Back to the castle of death. Okay, let's go make our way then to 
the zipline tower, and then we'll uh, we'll zip on over to the hedge. But yeah, I definitely need some quicker ways to get back to this area. That's the only thing I don't rehab really at this point is is like fast ways back. I have fast ways out into everywhere in the backyard, but no quick way back. Okay, so it's coming up here, and I still need to finish this uh, these stems on the inside, don't I? I've, uh, I've been saying that I need to finish these for ages, I still haven't. I'm just like, yeah, I need to do this, and I just never do it. I'm just like, I know I need to do this, but I'm never going to do it. Uh, I need to. But do I do it? No. Okay. So here we go to zip line. And we will take this time the one that goes this way. Because this one right here, if I can get it. I'm flying! Leads all the way over to the hedge. So we'll go and get this one. You watch, I, I bet now if I go back over to those wetlands, there's going to be fireflies down there now. I bet there will be. <laughs> it's cool that you can just see like a, a crisscross network of zip lines going on though. But yeah, what I might need to do is make, um, maybe if I make a zip line tower on the stepping stones there, that would be uh, a quick way to get back into the, uh, into the castle area, wouldn't it? And it would be accessible from pretty much everywhere, so that might be an idea. Uh, so that's cool, cool, I'm sure they'll have fun. Yes! Sorry guys, I have an itchy ear. <laughs> I always have an itchy ear. Now I have an itchy back of the head. <laughs> Don't I have an itchy everything? There. Okay, let me see. Let's make our way back down here. And we should hopefully see some fireflies in the wetlands just down this way. But yeah, I think what I need to do is either make a zipline tower there or make one from the hedge back to the... Uh, back to the castle base here. But I'm not. Yeah, I, I think we. I think what we really need to do is set one up on the stepping stones, because then we can control the descent um, into the castle from the stepping stones. So you probably want to make it as high as the first level of the picnic bench, because then it will like stick out above the grass line. And Ginger Badger 95 says hi. I have been bored all day. I'm sorry to hear that, dude. But welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for hanging out with us. How is it going apart from being bored? <laughs> Hopefully, other than being bored, your day has been not so bad. Right, do we have fireflies around here this time? Let's see. So, hey, look. Hey, this. Hey, Taddy, you say this game's not Halloween. -y. Look, there's a jack o' lantern. That's Halloween. -y. There. There you go. <laughs> we, we have Halloween. Right, do we have any fireflies today? I literally think we've killed the entire firefly population at this point, because I'm really not seeing any. Okay, if we don't have any here, I do know where there's going to be some. But yeah, it really does not look like we have any down here, does it? Oh, no, 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 here we go, here we go. Aha! And like a ninja, he dropped in on the fireflies, unbeknownst to them. The fox ninja landed on a blade of grass, he strikes, and then the firefly takes off, ready to defend himself, but went one swift arrow and finishes him off. Another one comes to his aid, but realizes his friend is already dead, and then the fox murderer reloads his crossbow, and before the firefly can strike, down he goes, and the burgle overlord was appeased, and 500 raw science was awarded. <laughs> And the fireflies never even saw it coming. Legend tells of the Night Stalker. The Max Fox Gaming, who may be a blind bugger, but as soon as he sees light coming from something's ass, he murders it in cold blood. Whoa! <laughs> he safe? Mm, safe fur. He uh, also realizes his, that he doesn't really know what the fuck he's saying, so yeah, just, just, just pretend like it's cool. Yeah, yeah, he, he he's kind of cool, but maybe not. I think seriously he's followed by Lomites in the grass. Would you guys go away? Oh my god. Come on then. Trick or treat, bitches. Right, there we go. Got him. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of it. There you go. Jimmy says, uh, it's, been, it's been slow and cold and quiet. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> no, it's, 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 been, it's been cold here too. Hey, it's a floating grub. You're defying physics. You're floating, but you're underground. Now, while that doesn't make any sense at all, I, I guess that's cool. Uh, ooh, juice drop, I'll take that. How's that juice drop even still a thing when it's like in a, in a small puddle of muddy, dirty water? H how would you still be able to drink that and say it's clean? <laughs> I don't know. But hey, we completed the quest now, so we can go see Burgle again. We can buy another sign set now. And once we've done that, we can go ahead and uh, take up some more quests. You watch, I bet Burgle's now going to be like, um, I, I bet he's going to be like, okay, craft this, you, 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 you useless item. 
Craft a fa 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 slippers. <laughs> like damn it, Virgil. Always giving me useless things to craft. He does though, honestly. Like I'm, I'm end game at this point, and Virgil gives me such useless things to craft. It's funny though. It's, it's easy raw science, but it's annoying just how much resources that that he makes you waste. Okay. So let's go through the oak tree. Get any plant fibers on the way. Bring that, I guess. Okay. Oh, do we do we really need the acorn bits? Ah, uh, you know, I guess I guess we could take the acorn bits um, that we see as well. You know why? Because we can use those in uh, the nachos, can't we? So we'll go ahead and take those. Because yeah, acorn bits are used in the in nachos, I believe. So I think they're also used in. Uh, oh no, they're, they're not used in mac and bees, but I know they're definitely used in the nachos here. It's a good thing that they removed the orb weaver from here, though. They used to be like an orb weaver spawn. Right, let's go through here. Let's see if there's any more spiders. Looks like... We don't have any? Okay, so we can just run straight through uninterrupted. Maybe the other wolf spiders are out trick-or-treating. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, how you doing, chillins and hell? Welcome to the stream, guys. Says, uh, inter interesting name. <laughs> and Hell says, hello everyone. How you doing? Ginger Red says, uh, I'm getting my ass beaten by antlions, but killing them so profitable, I think. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the thing. You'll be able to get, once you get the antlion armor or a better set of armor, you'll be able to take them on easier. I tend to find a shield really helps rather than a two-handed weapon with them. The best thing I found early to use on them was actually the bone dagger, surprisingly. Uh, level 5 bone dagger did really good. It is nice All right. to see a friendly face around here. All right, what work have we got? Uh, more ladybugs. Uh, really? A gnat? You already called that? Well, I kind of need to call that, I suppose. Okay, that's fine. I guess I'll take it. And a spiky spring. Come on, Burgle. It is nice to see a f -f friendly. Fa if you All right, let's see what we got here. So we now have four thousand three hundred fifty raw science. So we can buy yet another science set. So let's go and get the s -s 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 science science set. There we go. So slowly but surely, guys, we're we're nearly done with these Burgle benches. I need. 25,000 more raw science, and we can buy everything from Virgil's lab. So we're, we're getting there, slowly but surely. It says, I rolly bolly and still. Oof. Are you playing on that? Uh, which difficulty are you playing on? You, are you, I'm guessing you're on, like, on Woe, then? If they're hurting that bad. Because rolly poly they can, like... They, they, they'll still three-shot you in rolly poly armor, but it's a lot easier with that compared to Antline, because the defense is just so much higher. Okay, Wolf Spider? Come on, then. I'm just following behind him, and he's like completely unaware of my presence. Go on, then. I'm over here. Go on. He tried to shroud himself in clover leaves, but he failed, as he was justly slain by the Monsieur Antlion Antillion greatsword of spicy awesomeness. Right, tree sap, I do I do want to grab these, actually. Okay, tree sap and plant fibers, and I guess then, uh, yeah, I guess we'll zip back over to the uh, sandbox, take care of the antlions in there, and then we can treasure hunt by day, can't we? So that's, uh, hey, I'm making I'm making efficient use of my time, guys. Uh, that's the most dangerous bug in the game. Don't underestimate them. <laughs> and, yeah, woe mode, I regret it. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing on medium, um, and medium seems like a good balance. I do, I do want to start a series on War at some point though, because that's gonna be fun. Um, I think I'm, I think I'm a lot more ready for it now that I've, you know, played through. I think the one problem is gonna be though that I'm so used to handling endgame weapons at this point that when WoW comes around and when I start on a new game, I'm just gonna be getting destroyed. Um, I'm tempted to go with just like a, lo and, I, and I think as well that the thing is in WoW, because everything one shots you pretty much most of the time. I think I'm not going to go for a tank build. I think I'm going to go for like a, just a glass cannon type build. Essentially deal as much damage to them before they can get hit on you and just hope it kills them before you just get one shot. So I'm thinking of maybe a spider armor set with the eye patch plus is going to be my uh, my next build. Right now I'm I kind of go a mix of either the antlion armor or the yeah, it, t it tends to be like the antlion armor or something else, but I'm thinking yeah, spider armor with the eye patch just for to maximize the attack of the attack stamina and just dump everything into stamina um, is probably what I'm going to try. There's another wolf spider around here. There's actually two of them, I think. Okay. Oh, I just should drop right into where he is. Come on then. 
Come on, Wolf There we go. I shall slay you and take your bits. Okay, there's no beaver around here, but that's fine. We can just ignore him. He won't give us too much trouble over here. Okay, let's take our let's take our slow, stately uh, zip line back down. This is moderately terrifying. Oh, Pete, it's not terrifying. You've done this before. Says, uh, why, why did they have to murder the ladybug? Alan said, I think the main reason they've nerfed it is because too many people would just. You know, it's essentially once once you um they, they pretty much rebalance the entire tier progression. I think it's because they want you to progress to another set um of better gear. Because you know, think of it, if you think about it, the tier two ladybug armor was pretty much free health. And, you know, once you, once you got your mint mason ladybug armor, which you used to be able to get very very quickly, the get the game was kind of done. You know, what I mean, it's like free health and you know pretty much infinite attack power. What more could you want? You know what I mean? So I can I can understand why they've done it. It does kind of suck, but I can understand why because now it does make the other armors more viable. You know, the, the the spider armor set is now a bit more attractive. They they've kind of nerfed that a little bit because you can't use the quickness with it anymore. But yeah, the uh, I th I think they've mainly done it to to make other armor sets of tier two more appealing because really everyone <laughs> everyone in their dog was using ladybug armor with like you know. If, the, the next most common being the spider armor, so I guess it's just an encouragement to, you know, try the new armor sets. So I can I can understand why they've done it. Okay. So we are now going over the slowest zipline in the world. Well, actually, technically not. The, the one in the sandbox that I've created is even slower. <laughs> so, okay, understandable. But, um, why is a boss armor piece a medium armor piece? No idea. Maybe because they didn't want it to reflect on your stamina use. One thing I think they need to add, though, well, one thing I've always said they need to add, they've, they've got um, independent headgear and uh, footwear, but they don't have any independent upper body gear. I really think they need some kind of upper body gear to give you different effects as well. Like, I'd love to see, like, um, I don't know, what armor what armor haven't they used from? They haven't made, like, you know, lava armor or something like that. Maybe, like, a, I don't know, maybe, maybe like, a, some kind of... Oh wait, that's gonna knock me off. Of that. <laughs> this is like slightly too steep. Yeah, some some kind of lava armor would be really good. Here we go. It's gone down here. Right, let's go and uh, I guess drop some stuff off because I want some room for things. So the firefly box. Here we go. That can actually hold these things. I can get my spider stuff down in here as well. Uh, so spider box right here. Yeah, I've killed so many antlions on here. It's actually quite funny. <laughs> Just how many antlions have been slain. Um, right, so we got that. And I guess we'll set off some more, sell some more crude rope because, like I said, we're going to need a lot of it to actually finish our entire um, sign sets and all that other stuff we need. So yeah, crude, crude rope. You need a lot of it if you want to make a big base. Honestly, like it's used for the, it's using like everything in the end, like the floors, the sign frames, everything. Yeah, I'm guessing the spider armor is the, you know, the the the, club, the mask of the melody is the medium armor because they they didn't want it to affect whatever armor set you were with, I guess. Um, so I guess they didn't want it to make to make it, for example, a heavy armor piece because then people who wanted the benefits of the light armor would get nerfed. Uh, more so than they would had it been a medium armor piece. So I can kind of understand why as well that they may have chose to go with the medium armor set. But yeah, for bosses I would still use heavy armor anyway, just because. Well, <laughs> well, I mean, with, with with bosses, yeah, you you kind you kind of need the heavy armor, especially when they get free knockdowns and and their summons can get free hits on you. That's what that's what would uh, sway my decision for heavy armor with them. Okay, let's go and grab those, and go grab those. There we go, so we'll put those in here. And there we go. So, Jivez says, uh, piece of cute, but annoying while traversing the table. Yeah, and uh, Frisk says, hell, oh, hi, do Frisk. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, I, tend, I, tend to do, um, I tend to do the table at night, uh, because at that point, all the bees are sleeping, right? So it makes it a little bit easier that way. Okay, so more mosquito blood sacks can go in there, and... Mosquito beak, so yet more mosquito murderage. And then tree sap in there. And mite fuzz down below. There we go. Okay, so. 
Let's get ourselves another good meal. I guess we will use a spider slider this time before we go into the sandbox. Um, we could do might loaf as well if we wanted to. That gives us attack stamina as well. Actually, why don't we do? Yeah, why don't we do a might loaf? That's uh, well, actually, that's only a tier one meal. Let's do a tier two because it keeps us fuller for longer. So yeah, we're probably gonna find some good food in there as well. But yeah, the spider slider is really good, and nectar is really easy to find as well. So it's actually pretty good. Hell says hello, Frisk. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll go. We'll go to the sandbox. We will. Uh... Yeah, one thing I found that works really well in the outlines is the salt morning star. Three hits to stun them, and then you can pretty much finish them off quite easy. Um, I guess I guess on woe it'd be slightly harder because you do you do less damage and they have more health, but um, it still works pretty well. Yeah, you want a spider slider in there, and I'll have another one ready for later on. Sounds good. And let's see. Let's go and make sure my. Uh... Okay, so P needs water, so. Nice and clean. Let's go fill them up with that, and then we'll go fill our canteen. Okay, it's gonna get to uh, gonna get to daytime soon, so. I guess we'll have to kill some of the antlions as we treasure hunt, because I know Child wanted to see some antlion slaughterage as well. Um, so that's fine. We can do that. Um, Frisk says, aha, he is here. Hell, <laughs> yes, he is. And she says, uh, before the update, um, I was just cruising in two pieces of Ladybug, one Broodmother, the Broodmother Club, and three of the best mutations from my build. Yeah, that makes sense. I think with the changes to Armanel, though, you can make more independent character builds. For example, now, the, the, the spider set with the eye patch is really appealing, mm -hmm. just because it's like, especially if you're playing on War when you get one shot anyway, you may as well, instead of using the armor for, de for its defensive purposes, use it for its stamina gain benefits, so you can just continue attacking, like, indefinitely. Um... Because I think I think when you when you play Warwick, the armor becomes less about how much it protects you, and more about the benefits that it gives you with its abilities. So, yeah, it kind of kind of feels like it's um, and because the eye patch plus is also a piece of light armor, it goes with the spider. Armor. You don't get the uh, you don't get the uh, the hunter's prowess by not you know having all the bits of spider armor, but the plus attack from the eye patch is probably worth it. I would have thought. Okay, so this guy is almost done. I guess we'll swap to the antlion wide brim as well. I feel a little less squishy now. And my armor is about to break, especially the poncho. So let me go fix that. Yeah, look at look at this: 123 antlion parts, 140 pincers. <laughs> the only reason I got only 123 antlion parts as well is because um, I've been using them in smoothies. I get so many of them uh, that I just use them in smoothies in the case of the antlions, um, which is really handy. But yeah, we'll go. We'll have to go back to treasure hunting and see what we can find up there. Yeah, I've always used them as a really damn slow. Like, I <laughs> see the the only thing with uh, cooking this good food is it's really slow. And it's already daytime, damn it! Come on, oven, we're burning daylight. Come on. Okay, it's almost done. We just gotta wait for this thing to finish up, and then we can actually eat a good uh, eat a good meal before we head out. Because yeah, the the reason I'm gonna use the spider cider is uh, plus crit chance, which is very very nice to have. Uh, plus, let's actually make sure we got the right. Um, okay, we don't want rock crusher. We want coupe de grass enabled here. Um, but yeah, this this kind of build, as you can see, I've gone for a very tanky build. Um, if I don't have Mithridatism on, I usually put on the spicy safety or fresh, um, which I'm actually going to do here. I'm going to put on fresh for the sandbox just to pretty much destroy any of any chance of getting sizzled at all, because <laughs> that's kind of handy. Um, so here we go. So one spider slider. Mm -mm. Some lovely spider leg uh, topped off with some blueberry and, uh, and nectar. Look at that. Mm -mm. Spider leg. Um, <laughs> I says, can I steal your pincers? <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, consume. Mm. Not bad. Yeah, honestly, I really don't have any use for them at this point. Um, okay, so let's go to the zipline tower. Let's make our way up to the sandbox castle because um, we have direct access to it from our zipline tower of hugeness. Yes, I definitely went overkill on the windows, but but I don't care. It's all good. So up to Zipline Tower of Awesomeness. I do eventually want to make like a trampoline elevator of some kind, because it will be faster. But I'm not sure how you do it anymore, because apparently they they can't be placed on triangle blocks very easily. So you you got to be very specific about where you stand and how you place them, so they don't like you know propel you off in the wrong direction. Um, so you know the stairs the stairs are fine for our needs, I guess. Right. So sandbox one is over here. Wait, I've already assigned that to the sandbox. Okay, here we go. Come on, Pete, grab the zipline. There we go. Yeah! <laughs> All right, into the sandbox. Here we go. We got direct access to the castle, so we can get from there. How says, uh, I was a little late to the stream, had to go back and check uh, how that conversation went. <laughs> it says, Frisk, do you recommend a scary movie? Woo! Okay, there we go. We can get zip right on in here. 
All right, let's try not to die, shall we? All right. So let's try down here. Here we go. And let's go and finish that guy off. Come on. Come on, Pete, hit your target. Right. There's one. Right, let's try and kill. There's, there should be three ant lions in the sandbox here, so. Let's see if we can find all three. Oh, there's, maybe there's nice. Oh, no, here we go. Here's number two. No attacking for you. There we go. Got him. Alright, let's take care of these guys, so we should be able to find treasure in here pretty easily now. Um, okay, so yeah, th this is the best place to do the treasure hunting, because from the ominent boxes, you tend to get just even more stuff, which is really, really nice. So let's go and see if we can see any... Uh, I don't know if there will be any treasure here, though, just because we did come very recently. Okay. Well, guys, it's time to get on the slowest zip line ever. Let's get on the treasure hunting zip line and see if we can find anything. Uh, let's just stand up here, see if I see any sparkles in this side. We might not have any though, because, like I said, purely because we've been treasure hunting quite recently. I think I saw one right in the distance over there, but I'm not sure. Uh, we've been treasure hunting quite recently, so there might not be any at this point. No, that's not, that's fine. But I know Child wanted to see some uh, antlion slaying, so there we go. Right, guys, this is the slowest zip line ever. As you can see, very, very slow. But you know what I like this thing? Because it lets me kind of look above here. And I can see now if we have any sparkles. And if we do, we can go dig them up. And right now I'm not seeing any, so... Oh, I see one down there. Okay, so there is one. So let's go on this juice box and have a bit of a look. So you are right there, okay. So right by the human food drop here. Okay. Let's go and ninja our way in here. And with a tier 2 shovel, we can dig some treasure. Hell yeah! How you doing, Daz? Welcome to the stream, dude. It says, uh, I'll call my base uh, Trump Tower tool, tool Dumb and Simple. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Well, f f funny as that is, um, I don't usually encourage any kind of political chat in streams. Just, just so you know, I, I, I get the joke though. It's funny, as, funny as hell, of course. But yeah, I don't, I don't want to go too deep into that. So yeah, let, let's leave it at that. But yeah, that's that's awesome. Um, says, uh, your zip line is faster than mine, says Ginger Badger. <laughs> oh, really? It's still, it's still faster. Did you make one like on a on a level on a level ground? Yeah. Moves at the speed of snail. Or snail. Hang on. Oh wow, two crits! Wow, I finished that guy off in four hits with two crits. That's so, so technically, there's a really small chance if I get three crits with Coop the Grass, I can finish him off like super fast. That is uh, that is pretty cool. Oh hang on, was that uh, that sparkle I just saw then? Or was that just a reflection from the water? No, I think it was a reflection from the water, so... Okay, let's go back up here then. Gotta watch out, because there is a wolf spider in here, but... Let's go see now if we can see any treasure in the sandbox. Um, then There might now be some treasure around this area. Uh, now that it's light enough, we should hopefully see... If there are any sparklings, and if there are, then we'll go and take these. But I don't see any today. There's usually like one there and one up there, but... Okay, well I guess what we'll do is, since we got some uh, spicy candy, there is usually one that actually spawns straight up here, so we'll go and grab that. Because like I said, we need all this to uh, to make every type of tier 7 weapon. We need a lot of these. Yeah. Hal says, how to say things in passing without alluding to anything in particular. In the immortal words of Admiral Akbar. It's a, it's a, it's a trap! Yes, indeed. Holly says, uh, there was a, the, there was another out there the way you passed yeah. him. Alright, I'll go ahead and have a look in a second. Yeah. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah. Yeah, having this treasure hunting zipline is really useful because I can kind of like ninja into where the treasure is um, and not fight too many antlions in the process, which is quite handy. There we go. 
<laughs> and uh, let's see. Let's jump up here. Um, <laughs> and I see, I see, I see what you did, Hell. I see what you did as well. <laughs> okay, so where is it? Right, right in that crevice there, I guess. Oh, hang on. I think I just saw it down there, near the edge in that. Um, let me see. It's like if I blink, I miss it. Let me see if I can see where it's at. I do not see it now. Hmm. Yeah, this one is handy having a uh, having the zip line. It's just very easy to spot if there's any treasure in the area. Oh, right there by the bucket. Aha. Yes, I see you. Right, let's go ninja on down here. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm a fox ninja. Okay, let's try and dig this treasure without any antlions uh, coming my way. Oh, an ominous box, nice. There you go. There's, there's uh, on the on the left again as, as you go. Yes, and uh, that says, ooh, shiny. All right, what do we get from there? We got a some spicy shards of sunken bone, two mints, and an omelant. Nice. Uh, well, the omelant is good for thorns, so let's go and Just close your eyes. eat imagine that. It's a fruit powder. Yes, Pete. Imagine it's a fruit powder. What's the worst that could happen? Okay, so we've found the ones over here. So is there any juice drop here today? Uh, not today. Okay. That juice box is stingy. How dare it. Oh, hello. Hey. One more. Boom. Done. All done. Here we are. Yep, by the bucket. Um, and Dave says that it's a great way of spoiling treasure. Yeah, I didn't intend it to be this slow, but now it is. I'm just like, this is actually a this is actually a brilliant idea. <laughs> like, it's it's so much easier to like, it's so much easier to spot the treasure from above you, uh, rather than going through the sandbox itself to find it. Now, is there any sparkles down here? Sometimes there's some over this side, but I don't see any. Usually there's like one right there, but I don't think we've got access to anything, so. Yeah, I'm definitely glad I built the zip plane. Okay, very, very slowly. Let's see if we can see any over this side. Yes, I do see one actually already. Okay, there is one between those antlion pits, so. Let's kind of keep an eye on it here. Right, we're just going to ignore the antlion. Because there's going to be one in this hole here. Just run past him. Oh, hello. Oh, you, you want a piece, do you? Have that. Very good. It was kind of like right around this area, wasn't it? Is that down there? I just say... Yes, there it is. It is a right in here. Okay, what do we get this time? Assault shot, okay. There we go. There's that one. Okay. Oh, this guy's fighting an end. Okay, let's take advantage of it. I need seven. <laughs> He's like not even paying attention to me here. Come on out, we can do this. Take him on as a team. There we go. There we go. I showed him, didn't it? Yeah, don't don't mess with the black ants, so the fox will murder you from behind. All right. So there's this one over here. Yellow. There's actually one right there. Okay, I see one over there. Come on. Then. Got him. There you go. Come on then. Yeah, let's try not to get sent. Uh, let's try not to get sent flying by these antlions today. Here we go. Alright, what do we get today? Another salt shot? Yes, we did. 
It's not the best, but it's fine. Come on then. Oh! That did a lot of damage to you then. Yeah. I love the fact that we can get loads of crits very easily with the spider side of it. It's pretty cool. Uh, so one more. Um, more in front of the shovel now. Chance is nice! Alright, I'll go and have a look at the shovel as well. So let's get that one. Get that one. So you got that one as well. Another one? 21, damn it! We are closed now! The shop is closed, go away! Alright, we have one over there. Sometimes we have like one in that little bit there. Okay, so one sort of in front of the shovel. Is there around this kind of area? Hang on. It's a lot easier to spot when I'm not having to weave around the antlions. Um, okay, I got an idea. Let's um, let's finish off the one in this pit here, just to make it a little bit easier to deal with going that way. Hey there, how you doing? Okay, now I got him. One more. Got him. There you go. Take care of him. <laughs> Take care of that guy. Woo! There you go. Uh, a fruit powder? Sounds like a fruit roll up. It's, it does, doesn't it? Does it? Uh, Charles says, repair! Yeah, I need to repair. Once I get more salt shards, I'll be able to repair this one. Because, yeah, this is running out of durability slowly but surely. Hell says, oh, dang it, I forgot to plug my phone when I'm under bed. No! Yeah, I have to repair the weapon when I go back to base. It, it will last me long enough to... Uh, luckily, I'm not on WOMO, so it will last me long enough to do a little bit more damage. But, yeah, I'll have to repair it at some point. But for now, we are okay. We'll do it. It'll do for now. Right, let's get back up on here. This is moderately terrifying! So let me see if I can spot where it is. So did we get the one? Okay, I think we did get the one that I did see from before. Ah, yeah, I see where I see what you mean. Yep, I see it. It is literally right in that um, right in that divot between the two holes. Okay. Okay. I see where it is. I see where it is. Let's try and stay out of the way of the end line in the other pit though, so he doesn't throw ants at us while we try and dig the treasure up. Here we go. Another Robin and box. Nice. Now these are the good ones. You get all kinds of stuff from these. Good food as well sometimes. There you go. Oh, you even got a crow feather. Look at that. Nice. I uh, got sunken bones, some mint, sh uh, mint shards. Okay, so there's an ant line in that hole. So you treasure over that side. There's usually like one in this little dip sometimes. And there's sometimes even one over here. Hey, ant line. Can I sneak up on you? No, okay. I was going to see if I can sneak up on it. Go on then. Have that. Boom! Have that, Mr. Antlion. How do you like that? Monsieur Antlion Antillion. You will die. Wahahaha. That says, yep, yep, there we go. And uh, Dad says, uh, hell, I shut my mouth and forget about it so I can sleep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I say that uh, treasure eyes open. Go on, okay. Oh, he can reach people from all the way over there. Wow, that's cheating. Hey there. No attacks for you. Okay, that that range needs a bit of a nerf. That's that's really long range. Like I was I was way back. I don't think his pins is even actually connected physically with my body, but it's still registered damage. Okay. 
Yeah, they can do a lot of damage. They can do a lot of damage. But it's okay. It's okay, we're alive. Just about. <laughs> we are only just alive. It's okay. Oh, I hit the wolf spider. Oh, wait, no, that's the old weavers. No, okay, yeah. There is a wolf spider here, but that's the old weavers outside. Okay. Let's go on here. Do we have anything in here today? Apart from an ant line. Oh, okay. I somehow managed to swing and hit thin air and got him. Okay, well, that, hey, that works. That works. I'll take it. I wonder, if the, I wonder if you can get up inside this can. I think you can. <laughs> I don't think you can get up inside the can. There's nothing in there anyway. <laughs> so, is it normal that you sound clearer on stream than in, than in videos? Um, I don't know. I kind of put a bit of a, a, a top-end filter on the uh, on the videos. Just because I noticed that when I uh, when I export them, they always kind of really sibilant. You can always see this like come through. So I kind of put a, a bit of a deadener on it, I guess. So maybe that's why, because it's you, you don't find that in streams. I mean, if my voice sounds better without it, then I guess I'll uh, I'll take it off. But oh, we actually got three in here today. Look. Yeah, sometimes this here is a pebble, but so every now and then you will actually get three. We got really lucky today. We got super lucky. Oh, there's Corsair in here too, look at that. So we'll be able to repair our weapon at some point. Okay, yeah, we'll be able to repair our weapon then. Once we get some salt shards, we can just repair it straight from here, which is, <laughs> which is actually really good. Look at that. Okay, so yeah, lots of spicy shards in here today. That's that's always nice when you find when you find three in here. That's that, that's that's good. Um, and Daz says later on. See you, Daz. I hope you have a good day. Uh, he says that I'm off to remove a theory for your 120 foot long out of control hedge for a friend's property. I expect to sleep like 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 dead tonight. <laughs> All right, then, dude. Well, hope you get that done nice and quick though, and then you have a great Halloween. Thank you very much for coming along. Um, and I was says in the seven days, we need to sound further away. Okay, interesting. Could be the position of my mic as well, maybe. Um. Shin says, um, Shin says, you can't. No offense. <laughs> Hell says, uh, that seems like um, a, a targeting glitch because his attack angle was directed mostly vertical in the distance. Yeah, well, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. And Social Talamon 53 says, uh, what weapons are you making spicy? Every single one. And we're also doing every single weapon fresh, and every single weapon salty, and every single weapon mighty. We are on, uh, essentially we have to trade on option, because part of my 100% uh, complete goals is to make all the weapons with all the maxed out attributes. So, we have a lot of work to do. But it's going to be awesome, so, yeah, I'm just coming through the sandbox every now and then to do some, uh, do some lootage and treasure huntage, and we're pretty good. Empress says, uh, says, says, uh, elbow cough. <laughs> but yeah, the, uh, the Endline's attack pans is a little bit strange sometimes. Okay, we gotta kill this guy, though. Oh. Go on, then. Okay, I don't know what knocked me back then, but something did. Did I get did I get hit by an ant corpse or something? I think I did. Okay, well, smoothie time. Hey ant, how's it going? Charge! Yeah, I can never get the block on that attack, right? There we go. Right, is this the Mola Cave versus the Salt Cave? This is the Salt Cave. Good. Okay, this is the one we want to be in. Right, come on, an outline. Have it. Nice. Okay, so yeah, we have got some fungus in here. Yeah, it seems every time I refresh these um these these haze fungus things um oh you can attack these things. Oh, I didn't know that. Apparently you can attack this stuff. Huh. Interesting. I didn't realize you could just straight up attack it. I don't, I don't know if that like stops it spreading or something. I don't know. Should be another ant lying around here somewhere. There you are. 
I guess it's fair enough that my attacks can my attacks can connect to it when it's underground when it can't reach me. So you know, I get I guess that's fair. So once I mine up some salt from here, we should be good. So let me turn off. Um, well, I don't I don't need fresh defense on anymore because it's night time. So we can turn that one off and put rock cracker back on, and we can mine up all the salt in here. It's, sounds like a plan because it's getting night time now. So you know we don't need to worry about um, scissor protection. So that's a good thing. There's lots of salt shards in here. Yeah, I didn't realize you could just like straight up attack the fungal growth. I said, uh, can't launch you into space from underground. Nope. Yeah. That is funny when that happens. Guys, if you, if you haven't seen that though, check out the Twitch clip where the, uh, I, we actually Holly got two of them. Um, the Antline literally launched me into space. Yeah. And both times I survived, like, by pure luck. It was actually really funny. Yeah, I can't attack that haze fungus there. Okay, so yeah, you can, um, apparently you can attack the haze fungus. I'm not sure what that does, um, but yes, like, every time I restart the game, he goes ahead and just, you know, undoes the, uh, the haze fungus being there. I have no idea why. It's really weird, because usually you can find, um, later on you can find fungal growths down here as well, but it takes a, I guess it takes a while now for, for it to build up. It's a little bit weird. Yeah, you can even find uh, haze fungus in the uh, in the red anthill as well. It's actually quite cool. Okay. Do we have any more down here? Here we go. Right now, you can repair our weapon, can't we? Because we got enough salt and we got some quartzite. So, boom. There you go. All done. Ah, feet. You got You got You got to hit the actual salt shard, feet. Okay, let me guess, you're thirsty again, aren't you? Of course you are! Don't even need to boil it. Thirsty Pete. Is always needing to drink. Okay, there's a couple more here. Yeah. But there you go, child, that was the uh, sandbox area, so I hope you enjoyed that. Yeah. We'll probably be coming back here. I probably need to go to the trash heap as well and get some more stuff from there. Uh, let me just double check, there's no more salt under here while we're here, because, you know, it's... Uh, it's a resource that we don't want to go to waste because, you know, making the salt globs... I think actually making the salt globs is probably even harder. It used to only be five salt, but now it's eight. Um, so I think it's even harder now than it used to be. <sighs> and for a <laughs> card launch in the space, there we go. Okay. Oh, hello. What you want? There we go. Smash him to bits. Smash him to pieces! Oh, there goes an antlion leg. <laughs> I, love, I love how the legs just like randomly fly off in different directions. Alright, Billy Hogs Nuggets, we want to take those. There you go, have that. Got him. Right, is the wolf spider in here today? Not today. Does that mean he's either he's either not respawned or he's out roaming somewhere? Okay, let's go back over this way. I think we pretty much got everything here that there is to get. I did collect the human food over here, didn't I have the cookie sandwich? Uh, I think I did, yeah. Yes, yeah, so I got all three human food drops in here today. Um, collected the cookie sandwich, so I think we got everything, so that's pretty good. So just on says, uh, I started with my new base and a zipline base. So, thanks for inspiring me. Oh, you're welcome, dude. I'm glad I, I'm glad I can inspire you. That's awesome. I'm glad my somewhat crappy builds can, can inspire people. That's really good. I mean, if you if, if you think my build is good, there's um I saw like a build on the ground at Reddit that literally was, well, you could say it was probably about the size of that shed. How tall it was, it was huge, and it had like decorative chandeliers and everything. I was just like, oh my god. Like I, I was just looking at it. I was like, oh my god, this is crazy. It was awesome. Um. I was like, oh, it kind of makes my building look like really small in comparison now, but okay, cool, cool. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm flying! All right, zip back to base. And then we'll come down here. There we go. So we've got some more treasure, some more stuff to, uh, some more spicy shards and stuff to craft up now, which is good. So let's go and get that done. So we can do, yeah. Um... Salt gloves, and then we can do spices. 
Oh, I can actually do six. Okay, I may as well uh, pair it out like that. See, so, yeah, we can't do any more mint right now, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get there eventually. Um, but yeah, look, we can actually make uh, case of the antlion now as well if we want to, which is pretty good. Um, well, we can, we can pretty much make all the foods apart from omelette and boatman fin soup. Um, that's pretty cool. But yeah, we also want to get some mushroom bricks going, don't we? So. Because he always need them, uh, always needs them mushroom bricks, guys. Okay, hang on, let me, uh... Move all these guys back into here, because as you can see, we're kind of getting full. <laughs> kind of getting full of stuffs. And we, we, we found a minute amount of quartzite as well, which is quite funny. Um... Yeah, sandbox is not the best place of course, like just around the backyard in the haze area. And probably the haze and the black anthill are the two best places to get it. But now I can go ahead and start with the mushroom bricks and get those sorted out. Here we go. Because yeah, just a few toadstools gets you, like, just one run of toadstools gets you so many mushroom bricks, it's really good. So they're really not that hard to craft up, honestly. Oh, there's some rotten food in there. There we go. But yeah, I definitely need to move my uh I definitely need to move my dew collectors in here somewhere, don't I? I should probably put them like that'd be a good place, so maybe I should put my, both my dew collectors over here. Um There you go. <laughs> Lucky launch says um says child says uh says I think your face is awesome. Thank you, dude. Very much appreciated. Well I'm glad you like it. I, I think it's you know, for for just just building it pretty much ourselves for the most part, I think it looks uh I think it looks very good. You know, Tanny helped us with the uh with the book harvesting move, so uh, our, our museum is built partially thanks to her as well, so we're doing pretty good with that one. But yeah, I guess now we can do... Um, I think, though, um, Toon had a really good idea. We should make... Consi considering Burgle makes us craft stupid stuff, right? We should, ha we should have, like, a Burgle monument, um, which would just contain... We'll, we'll probably have it in the armory area, I think. And what it'll, what it will do, we'll, we'll literally just have armor dummies with all the crap that he makes us craft. So anytime, anytime we, anytime he makes us craft something stupid, we'll go and put it on a separate armor dummy. And then we'll put all the signs for like science around it and things like that. We'll make like a, we'll make, like a, we'll, we'll make a shrine to the robot overlord. We must appease our robot overlords, and therefore we must make a shrine to them. I think that'd be I, I think that'd be quite a cool build, honestly. Uh, there we go. So you can stack those. Oh, glad that pretty much auto stacks straight away. Um, okay, so let's go and grab two more of these, and let's go and queue these up on the thingies here as well. Because, like I said, we're gonna need a lot of crew rope for all of the possible sign sets. Yes, yeah, so we must we must appease our robot overlord, and therefore we must dedicate a shrine to him. There we go. Nice. So that can get going. And there we go. So we did get some more crow feathers as well, which is nice. Um, it's always nice to get crow feathers as well, because it makes um, makes it so we can either build nice roofs or more feather beds and things like that as well. It's pretty cool. Um, so, um, Tiny Pete is going to need uh, water badly in a minute. But we did get a sunken bone or two, so that can go in the fish box, uh, the bird box. So we now have uh, okay, we're back up to uh, back up to twenty crow feathers. Okay, the smoothies do not go in the bird box. <laughs> smoothies don't go there. What are you talking about? Um, okay, so yeah, we're getting getting pretty good with those, and of course the antlion box because that's pretty much the only thing I killed out there. Um, yeah, there's the there's our pincers as you can see. Bloody hell, <laughs> man, we've just been murderizing all the antlions, haven't we? Okay, you know what? These okay, this kind of needs to move over here. Um, and then these can move there. There you go. So yeah, we, we've still we've still got more antlion parts than pincers again. And I've been using these in smoothies as well. Like the antlion parts make just it makes a good dumping ingredient for smoothies, honestly, just for the generic healing ones. So those can go in there. So you've got more mushroom brick to craft as we need it later. Then quartzite box. We're gonna need to go on another quartzite run at some point because you know to upgrade all our weapons. We will need uh, we will, will need additional, but for now we're doing okay. Okay, and then we can put our human food in the smoothie box, so we can make um, the uh, sticky human food smoothies later on in case we want to fight bosses again. Um, so that sounds good. We actually got two of each this time, which is good. And then acorn bits can go in the main food box with this as well. There we go. So those can sit in there. Okay, we're up to nine. 
There you go, right. So this oven, make sure we don't have any spare food in it that we're going to neglect to eat. Okay, let's go and uh, give Tiny Peak some hydration. Go and fill this up, and then I guess we'll go ahead and see if we can... So what do we got to do? We've got to kill some gnats, craft a sprig bow, and kill some ladybugs. So we can find gnats very easily, so... Oh, this dewdrop is, like, huge. I love how sometimes, like, the dewdrops get, like, massive. And other times they're just fine. I don't know what causes that. That's, that's only been around in this version that some of the dewdrops get just, like, humongous. I have no idea why. Um, just think like a bunch of small bases and rooms are all interconnected could look good. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I've done here, honestly. Like, um, as you can see, they're, they're all separate uh, little bits. So I reckon it could do. Yeah, I like, have, like, small pods and things like that. But yeah, I definitely think we need to try and burgle at some point. But before we do that, let's go out and, uh, well, let me get my uh, crossbow first, actually, because uh, to kill gnats, we're going to need, you know, some kind of some kind of ranged weapon, at least. Plus, we can make gnat jerky for nachos as well, so that should be fine. So let's go and get our crow crossbow and the very few arrows that we have. We have uh, eight arrows, which is it's decent. Like I said, it only takes, you know, as long as we uh, aim correctly, it's one arrow per gnat, so we've only got to kill five of them. Not worth that much, but... Eh, miss, uh, our robot overlord has commanded such, therefore we must. Okay, so some bees are sleeping around here. I should use my zipline to the wetlands really, shouldn't I? But it's okay. I don't even know if the gnats uh, spawn at night anyway. Yes, there's a sleeping bee over there, we'll just leave him alone. Let's go ahead and keep moving. Oh, we got an infected ladybug gun. I wonder if infect. Hang on a minute. I want to test something. Does killing an infected ladybug count? Yes, as you can see, the fungal growths have already come over here. Alright, let me get rid of this. And get rid of this. Alright. Come on, ladybug. Right, here we go. Oh. Right, come on, then. Does that count? It does! Okay, killing an infected one does count towards your regular. Oh, that's awesome! Okay, so we can kill infected ones, too. Even better. Okay, so ladybugs or infected ladybugs uh, count, which is good. Let's see if the let's see if the bee uh, can finish this thing off. Go on, bee. Kill that ladybug. This ladybug's gonna totally wreck that bee. Is it still mad? I think it's stuck. Go on, B. Go, go take care of that ladybug for me. <laughs> B, you're you're not doing very well here, are you? That ladybug's just like walking off. It's like it's like nope. It's like nope. Wow, that ladybug's like literally running away from the bee. Okay. Okay, let's try and aggro it some. Oh, you got it. Oh. Okay. Good job, Mr. Bee. Successful tactic. God, look, look how much grass this ladybug has just left behind. But yeah, the infected ones do count. Okay, that's good. Um, let's see. Um, so someone says that I leave it in infected gnats count as well. Okay, well, I guess that kind of makes sense. It's weird though because they give you separate quests for the infected weevil. Like the the infected weevil has a, has a separate quest. So I'm, I wonder if they're going to tie those back in together. So either variants count. Okay, that's cool. So infected ladybugs do count towards uh, ladybug kills. So we don't have to go look so far for them. Go away. 
Yes, I'm murderizing ants again. Like I said, we're, we're, we're going to make a ton of armor stands with uh, just loads of end parts on them. Um, just to signify how much I've... Uh, can, I, can I jump up this? I swear I can. Yeah, there you go. We can jump over it. Alright, see so if we can find some gnats out here. We might find some fireflies, but mainly it's gnats I'm looking for, so... Let's go see. Oh, there's more infection here, too. Look at that. Oh, hang on. What's this thing? What's this thing fighting? Bloody hell! Look at look at how much uh, that, that that that's pretty much just like deforestation, like right, right there. Okay. There we go. Have that. Go on. Then. There you go. Easy raw science right there. Yeah, let's go get rid of that. Well, I guess we'll have his fungal wrist while we're here. Because, you know, they're, they're right here, so we may as well get them. Right, so there's a stink bug over that way. Yeah, we probably don't want to mess with the stink bugs. I'll probably, I'll probably get killed by the stink bugs, honestly. So, yeah, we might want to stay away from them. But we'll head to the wetlands here. Um, and hopefully we can find the nets there. And then literally we just have to craft a sprig bow and then we're done. So... That's awesome. Um, Dave says, uh, you got this, Max. What could possibly go wrong? I don't know. I could, I could get blown up, I guess, but that's pretty much it. That's, that's not a bad consequence, is it? All right. Let's go see if we can find some nets. I wonder if the meaty nets count as well. Oh, hello. You're a bugger. Have that. Didn't like that, did you? Alright. Yeah, good thing I'm wearing decent armor here. Okay, yeah, so we might have some mosquitoes here. Oh, come on then. Oh, I smacked him really hard. Didn't like that, did you? Take your blood back, though. Right, see if we can see the gnats around here. They may not be here, though. They might be by the lights at night. Yeah, usually they're here. I think they've gone to where the lights are. I love how when it gives me a quest to kill five, there's, there's hardly any there. But now it gives. But now that I don't have that quest, there's tons around the area. That's pretty funny. Um, and, uh, so Leonardo9490 says, show me your house. All right, I will in just a sec. I'm kind of close to it. Get these. Come on. Then. All right. Go on, fill, fill your thing up with blood so I can harvest you. Come on. You fill the blood now? Yes, you are. Come on, then. Come here, you coward. Ah! Got him. Did that guy down. Oh, is that a, a random mosquito beak here? Oh, wait, that's just... Wait, did I even pick it up? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> that's right, I'm just see, seeing his head floating in the water. Yeah, I'll show you, I'll show you the house. Um, Shin says, uh, can you take on the assistant manager before you finish? Uh, reload your save file. Um, if, I can find the, in the, if I can find the right save file, sure. I'll do the fight again. Okay, let me grab some more plant fibers, because we need those for crude rate for... Completionist purposes. Okay. All right, I'll make my way back towards the back towards the house then for you, Leonardo, and I'll see what we got so far. Yeah, we're a couple of hundred days in, so we've uh, <laughs> we've been uh, making quite a big base, but it's uh, it's been fun all around. I'm really I'm really enjoying this update. I, I've I've been playing this literally for like 12 hour stints most days, <laughs> so it's a uh, it's a fun update. It's a really fun update. God, there's a bombardier around here. We got to be careful of so. Let's just be a little bit careful here. Um, okay, I'll also craft that sprig bow, and I guess we'll go and have to we'll go and find some nets. Who goes there? Oh, it's a bee. Okay. I'll take that though. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Yeah, this infected ladybug has literally destroyed all the grass in this area. That's hilarious. I can't believe how much they just wreck, though. It is it is intense how much they wreck. Um, 
And Shin says, yeah, Mr. Fox, you are so OP. Yeah, we've uh, we, we've maxed out all our weapons and armor pretty much. So yeah, at, at this point, we uh, until they introduce like tier 4 bugs, we are definitely OP. <laughs> I wonder what the tier 4 bugs are. I reckon Cockroaches is probably going to be a tier 4 one when they add the Shed, and maybe the uh, the non-sickly roly polies as well, once they do the Shed update, which hopefully is going to be the next one they do. So collect those. Right, let, let me show you what we got for our house then. Um, well, we've, actually got, we've actually got a couple of little outposts around the area, but yeah, the main house, if I can see where my trail marker went. <laughs> Where's trail marker? Damn it. Okay, it's actually over here. We went right past it. Yeah, our main house is right up here. And I'll show you what we got. We got we have like kind of like a fortress, so I'll give you like a, a little tour of it just so you can see. So you got like entry room here, nothing much in here yet. Gonna add to that. Uh the first area you have here is like a bug museum. So we've got like a, a mite display over here, got like a, a ladybug with an aphid, got some of the small bugs up there as well. Um I was kinda hoping there'd be more of them, but there's only a few, so I'll probably make just more of these and put them up on the shelves. Uh got soldier ants chasing a weevil, uh with some ant head uh things. Uh a firefly over here. And uh, up on the ceiling, you can see some gnats just kind of, you know, hovering around. We've got loads of stuffed gnats up here. Uh, there's some stuffed bees um, all up here as well. So lots of those. And then we've got a uh, got a couple of the abomination totems just like... Uh, looks like they're, they're about to fight each other, um, which is pretty cool. Hang on, let me put my uh, great sword away so you guys can see better. There you go. That's better. Now, now I've got no hands, you can see better. So yeah, we kind of got that going on, um, which is pretty cool. Um, we also have uh, a broodmother trophy at the back here. Um, which is right there. We have another one as well. Like up the very top, I've got um, starting to do all the sign frames. So we're trying to do like one of every sign frame as we purchase them. So it's going to be like kind of like a gallery up the top here. Then right up here, we got a, uh, of course, the stink bugs and then some bombardiers around this side. Uh, the wallow spiders uh, or the wallow spooders uh, we have right here. So uh, the wall spider heads and the orb weavers, as well as the another broodmother trophy. Um, I hope they I hope they add the stuff spiders as well at one point because that's gonna be really cool. Hal says uh, had to switch to the iPod, so I'm AFK for a while. Awkward typing on an iPad while I take care of uh, things around the house. No, no, I get that, dude. Alina says uh, your house is pretty good. Thank you, dude. Um, she says praying mantis, please. I think that's confirmed. As far as I'm aware, the praying mantis is confirmed. Um, then over here we have like our workshop area. So my uh, my mass storage system is right here with everything in it. Workbench can pretty much access most things. I still have to do like one box up there. Um, but yeah, we'll get that done. Um, actually, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what we could do. <laughs> we could literally just, uh, you know, get this one and just be like, hey, uh, do, 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 and hang on, let me just jump up on here. Um, we kind of want the sideways, don't we? That'll do. There you go. Um, yeah, they, they're kind of a bit um, smushed together at some points, but there we go. So yeah, I got our mass storage system right here. I have like a, a cooking area over here, so I have like all my food stuff right in there to make all the good stuff um and yeah pretty much pretty much this way i do the food stuff everything is craftable pretty much and then we got a downstairs area where i do all the uh kind of the auto crafting stuff so you got like the jerky racks over here i got loads of those um i've got all my uh spinning wheels right here i got like 10 of those just so we can produce up a ton of crude rope as well uh just have, imagine a stuff room i really want one of those <laughs> a big hairy tarantula that'd be cool as well to see actually um then we got like the uh the main ovens down here the smith this is like my smithing area so when i get weapons to upgrade um do all the gloves and these and mushroom bricks uh that's my quartzite collection so far has seen better days but we've been using it to upgrade weapons and you know these are my quartzite gloves and everything that we've got so far but slowly but surely working on them um uh, most of my weapons I've upgraded to spicy because I think that's probably the best damage output type. Um, but yeah, that's what we got so far. And then if we got up here, hopefully they fix the lighting issue with these acorn stairs because these these stairs always have lighting issues and I'm not sure why. It's like um, it's like the mining light and other light sources don't affect anything yet. Um, right there is just like an entry point to our base, so we got like uh, we got like the zip lines in from the picnic bench just up there, and then the sandbox. I always have a zip line from the pond to the picnic bench, so you can pretty much you know zip from there to there and then come straight back in. Um, then one from the uh, the crab claw in the sandbox as well, and then up here we have another door. So like a balcony all around, so that just pretty much leads all the way around. So kind of makes a, a catch-all if you fall out the window for whatever reason. Uh, this area I'm still working on. Um, this is going to be like um, we got like some towers up here, and pretty much it's going to be one tower for each of the characters here. So that's pretty much this pretty much be like a small house for each of them to live in. But currently nothing's in there, just a couple of floors, but nothing really much is there right now. 
and then down here once we get started with it it's going to be like a kind of like a great hall and an armory kind of thing so yeah this 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 one is definitely a, a work in progress still and then over here we have our humongous zipline tower and as you can see there's there's a lot of zip lines that span out from there so yeah um uh can i see it on the photo mode uh i need ideas um hang on i'll see if i can uh I'll see if I can uh, view it on the photo mode. So, how do I go to free uh, V to switch to free cam? Uh, how do I? Okay, let me let me go as far up as I can. I don't think you can go too far from your character though. Um, okay, I can check to you on photo mode as well, just so you can see. So that's kind of like the back end. Um, I'll, I'll try and zoom as far back as I can, just so you can kind of get an overview from what it looks like from the sides. Um, I'll try and like fly through it. This was going to be a zipline tower down here, but I never never ended up doing it. But yeah, you can see pretty much like some drawbridges connecting a few things together. But yeah, I can go through. Can I not go through walls in photo mode? I don't think I can. But yeah, I got more balconies down here. Pretty much just like a kind of like a castle base with towers on the outside and stuff like that. Um, and they could they they could live on uh, houses, um, and they could live on old wood in the shed. Uh, big carpenter ants could be tough. Yeah, exactly. What I think they need to do though is add fire ants because we have sizzle protection now, so the antlion armor would actually be of more benefit than just inside the sandbox if you had like a fire ant hill. Um, can I like fly in through the window here? No, I can't. Okay, <laughs> I thought I might be able to, like uh, fly through a window here to go to go inside, but no, it looks like it's kind of bounded by your character. Um, but yeah, you can see, yeah, lots, lots, lots of different rooms here. Um, but yeah, I can't go too far away because of the uh, photo mode. But there, there is Tiny Pete right there. <laughs> okay, how do I come out of this? It's um, escape to go back. Oh, escape doesn't work for whatever reason. So there you go. Yeah. So that's the uh, that's what we got so far. I guess what I'll do is I'll get on a, uh, I'll get on the, I'll get on like a roof or something. So I can show you like from the rooftops as well. But yeah, as you see, it's kind of like a house shaped thing. I use the acorn doors for windows at the top, and I thought they looked pretty cool. Uh, dung beetles. I think dung beetles would be really good for the sandbox and the trash area as well. They would, they would kind of make sense uh, to have them there. I hope. Yeah, I that's the, I think that's the only problem with the sandbox right now is there's literally one type of enemy, and that's it. Uh, let me go up here and kind of do a photo mode from here, so I can do free cam from this area. And I can kind of come outside and turn it around just so you can see from this angle. So yeah, I kind of have like a zipline entry this way. But yeah, that's uh, if I go as far back as I can. That's pretty much what it looks like from afar. See so yeah, a couple of workshops. Uh, my roof is not the best. I do eventually want to get a feather roof on one of these buildings at least, but I'm probably not gonna. I'm probably not gonna because <laughs> uh, crow feathers are expensive and hard to find. But yeah, that's what we got so far, um, as you can see. So yeah, pretty much just like a load of separate buildings kind of put together. Hey bee, <laughs> there's a, a bee just like hanging out up here. I'm just like just playing around. Yeah, so photo, photo mode is good. It does actually pause your game. But yeah, for this one here, for the workshop one, I use like a wee stem top because um, I think that looks slightly better. Oh, no, I, I can actually fly through here. It's pretty cool, so I can kind of show you from the uh, from the corners of each room as well, just so you can see. So yeah, pretty much shelf storage system using half walls and weed stems and stuff. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, let me uh, let me kind of zoom down here, and if I come up the top here, you can see like from a top view where you wouldn't usually see. Um, so yeah, like a little bug museum and stuff. Yeah, so it's it's pretty nice. But yeah, the, yeah, dung beetles. I would like to see them. So that'd be a that'd be a good one to see as well. Plus, apparently, that's Missy's favorite insect. So uh, everyone's like, "I like butterflies. I like bees. I like ants." Missy's like, "I like dung beetles." <laughs> it's like, "What?" But yeah, there we go. That's uh, a, a pretty quick view of the base there, as you can see. All right, let me head down here. Uh, we can probably put on our um, blah, 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 thingy thing antline white broom now. Uh, probably to repair it soon. I feel a little less squishy now. <laughs> Pete goes from heavy to light armor and says he feels a little less squishy. <laughs> Good one, Pete. Good one. <laughs> I feel a little less squishy now. It's like, are you a fool? He's like, yes, yes, I am. It's like, hmm. Well, I guess you won't be missed in death. Uh, right, let's go grab some more plant fibers because I need them. And crude rope must be crafted, guys. So let's go and get these guys going again. Yeah, I hope they add like some kind of automator at some point that lets you feed crude rope into like a funnel, which then feeds it out to nearby workstations and then collects the results for you. 
that'd be something really nice because like yeah having to do it like bit by bit like that it's not like it's not bad but once you got a load of workstations it can become a bit of a problem it'd be nice if like because they, they said they were having like gonna have powered machines at some point um in the future patches as well so maybe like a an auto feeder for these kind of machines would be really nice you know things that only have like a one a one-to-one -one recipe so you could do it with like this you could do it with the the slurry the jerky racks things like that and all you have to do is like put a box on top of it kind of like a minecraft hopper in a way and yes i have been, i i have mentioned the game that should probably not be named but yeah <laughs> hey i like minecraft not gonna not gonna hide it i think minecraft is a good game Everybody, everybody unfollows. <laughs> so, it's like, what? Minecraft? No, we don't talk about that blasphemous piece of crap here. It's like, yes, we do. I play it sometimes. Not very often, but sometimes. Uh, right, so mosquitoes going here. Oh, more fireworks going outside. Yay, Halloween fireworks. And we got a lot of mosquitoes. Uh, a scorpion in the side. But yes, that'd be good as well, having a scorpion. Would make, uh, would make sense too. Well, depends on whereabouts in the world they're trying to, uh, they're trying to portray, I suppose. But yeah, I'd love to see some scorpions. Maybe, maybe like a maybe like a scorpion boss or something would be pretty cool. Um, okay, we need to repair our shield as well, don't we? So let's uh, wait. No, don't, don't, don't put you in there. I need to repair you. Here we go. There you go. Right. So yeah, we need to uh, we need to hunt nets, and then we need to. Okay, let's craft the spring bow that Burgles wants us to do for you know for whatever reason. Oh, I fell down here. That's the other. That's the only other problem with Acorn says as well. You can actually fall through this gap right here. Um, I don't know. I don't know why, but yeah, whatever. Um, let's go ahead and do this then. So we need a sprig bow for Mr. Burgle. Because our robot overlord has demanded that we waste resources on useless things. So, one sprig bow. There you go. I mean, I guess I have to, I have to agree with one to tier seven, but, you know, I've <laughs> these are all the sprig bows that Burgle has made me craft. So, yeah, we, we definitely need the Burgle Shrine. And, like, th this is pretty much the box of all the useless things. The burgle has made me make apart apart from uh, apart from this and, and this of course, but yeah, this is pretty much the uh, the box of uselessness. Um, so yeah, that's uh, definitely definitely gonna have to go into our burgle shrine um, at some point. Uh, okay, so we need to. Oh no, it wasn't a spring. It was a spiky spring. Damn it. Okay, so even more even more resource wasted. Okay, well that's fine. It's whatever. Spiky sprig. Where is that? Let me see. Spiky sprig. Okay, eh, that's not too bad. Ah, oh, two crude rope though. Damn it. <laughs> I, I can't be affording this burgle. Hey, it's like a green club of the mother demon. Everyone's like, that's exactly what it is. It's the tier one club, Max. You know, you know this. Okay. So zipline to the wetlands, I suppose, and then we will go ahead and hunt up some nets, which will require the crossbow. But yeah, definitely think I'm gonna need to make a. Uh, Definitely think I'm going to need to make some kind of elevator system in here. So trampoline elevators. If I can make it work, then we'll we'll do we'll do a trampoline elevator. Because hopefully that would work. I have to I have to see what it, what it does on scaffolding and things like that. But yeah, the uh, the one to the wetlands is actually well. This leads us to the pond, but this leads us right where we need to go. So this is moderately terrifying. We shall make our way down here. And we'll just, uh, this leads us like right above the wetland area, pretty much. So we'll just drop in right there. Um, and we should be all good. She says, uh, males are Dave because it flies on deadly insects. This is true. Yeah. Out in Straya, the land that wants to kill you. Right, so we should hopefully find some nets around here. So they usually like to hang around. They usually like to hang around this area, but here we go. Yeah. Okay. Just we just have to wait till the morning and they come back here. Right. Hello, lovely nets. How are you doing? I must murderize all of you. I, I hope you don't mind. So uh, yeah, um, just uh, stay still so I can take some aim. Let me see if I can target one of these guys. Oh, that one totally missed. Never mind. Try again. No, 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 no. Stay still. I know I'm a bad shot, but stay still at least. Come on. Okay, let's see if I can find one that's just going to stay where they are. Oh, you moved at the last minute, you bugger. Always happens. That's a bee. That's a, that's a, that's a big net. I tried to shoot these guys down. Is 
Not so easy for me, but there you go. I, I guess I'll collect the nat meat and make uh, more nat jerky. There you go, that's one. So I have to kill five of these things. For whatever reason. Come on, stay still. There you go. Two. I must murderize all of you. My robot overlord has commandeth me. I'm sorry, but you all have to die. Okay, stay still. Now nah, they're all like flying off now. Oh, you little buggy, you moved right at the last minute. Okay, I'm gonna run out of uh, I'm gonna run out of bolts at this rate before I kill them. Before I kill all of them. There you go. Got one. <laughs> Wait, where does body go? I need my arrow back, damn it! No! Where did your body roll away to? I'll see. I'll see the arrow marker in a minute. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I, I'm sure I'll see the arrow marker soon. Okay, come on. Oh, I'm in the water. I can't. I can't actually do anything. <laughs> Get out of the water, damn it! Got him. I just need one more, and then we can go back to Burgle for some quests. As it stay there. Got him. Yes! Oh, did he land on the clover? Did, did he literally land on the clover there? I think he did. Um, yeah, he did. Well, there we go. There's, there's the gnats taken care of. Uh, there we go. Now, now, now I can find the bodies. Just look, look where the arrows float up in the water, and it kind of marks where the bodies are. <laughs> or at least, at least sometimes, not always. The bodies kind of like roll around a little bit. Ah, uh, that's fine. I don't. I don't need too much of it. There you go. Yeah. Just, th there you go, guys. Proof that I'm a very bad shot, and that I can't see where my kills end up. So. Oh well. Never mind. There you go. Uh, says uh, <laughs> that holes. Come closer. I know, right? I says I won't be happy to live from me a fuzzy little jumping spider that acts like a puppy and runs away from big threats, but will hunt your little ones nearby. That'd be cool. Says I want my little jumping spider to climb the grass and ju and jump at gnats. That would be that would be a really cool thing. Yeah. Yeah, having like a pet jumping spider, I think, would be pretty nice. Yeah, th there's there's lots of things that you could technically make pets in this game, really. Like. I, I reckon you should be able to, like, if they had an Ant Queen boss, uh, which I think has been also confirmed at some point, um, because there's actually a couple of blocked off chambers in the Ant Hill that have these big rocks in front of them, so I think that's where we're going to see a, a red and a black Ant Queen boss. It'd be really nice if it gave you a, mut a mutation like, you know, Pheromone Control or something like that, which is a mutation you can unlock. And while you, while you have that mutation active, any worker ants that are nearby you that see you in danger or, or something will actually defend you. Because to them, with the pheromone control, you're like their ant queen kind of thing. So if the workers see you out and about and in combat, they'll come to your aid. A bit like how Mum Jeans works with the spiderlings. So you'll have a chance to summon like a worker ant in combat or attract any that are nearby to aid you. That'd be so good in the sandbox as well. Like you know, you you beat the you beat the black ant queen, then you use black ant pheromone control mutation, um, which then means when you're in the sandbox and the ant lions are trying to kill you. All the black ants in the nearby ant hill will come out and help you. It'd be, it'd be OP as hell, but then, like, to balance it, I guess they could make the ant queen boss, like, you know, really, really difficult. Like, the, the red one would be easier, obviously, because red, red ants are weaker um, by the game design. But then the black ant boss could maybe be, like, a similar but much harder fight. Because that would be pretty good, like, the, you know, the red, the red Ant Queen could actually be, like, the earliest boss, then the Assistant Manager, then the Broodmother, then, then maybe the Black Ant Queen after that, is is how the ordering of the bosses could go. Then maybe the Praying Mantis after that. I'd, I I would kind of see that as uh, how it would go. And Fred Fried Dinosaur, how you doing, dude? Welcome to the stream. Um, but yeah, a, li a little jumping spider would be really nice. Because yeah, currently the only pets. Um, well, they, they've 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 said though that the pets in its current in its current form is actually phase one. So, hopefully, what that means is that they will be expanding on the pet system. So maybe you'll either be able to make them carry stuff for you, or they'll have different types of pets you can get. But yeah, I'm I'm hoping for I'm hoping for like you know either pet ants that you can use with a with a mutation, um, or like a pet ladybug that you can like ride on and have it haul your stuff for you. Like I'd love to, I'd love to see like um, vehicles as well at some point. Like it seems like 
I would I would rather from the uh, from the tasers and the Arca units that you fight in the labs, instead of getting raw science for killing them, you should be able to harvest their robot parts. Now, because those things are one of a kind, um, essentially the, the the robots don't respawn. Um, so because those things are one of a kind, they'd be they'd be able to be used in top tier recipes like you know vehicle parts that you could like put together. You could, uh, and maybe you'd have a choice. Like once you defeated all the tasers and arcas, you could uh, you a could go ahead and say either make your own one that would fight for you, and you could you could just like repair it with easier to find materials, or you could make um, or you could make like a vehicle that could transport a load of things. So then you can like transport loads of stuff in a vehicle. Um, and uh, th and uh, Thera says that uh, you can upgrade your weapon now. Yes, we've actually got um, right here this uh, crossbow. Uh, that we currently have is tier seven. Um, I think I think my axe is tier seven. Yeah, this is a tier seven mighty axe. So I, th I think most of these are tier seven. Yeah, the hammer is, the crossbow is. Yeah, I think we're already maxed out with most of these. This one's level seven spicy and lion greatsword, which is really good. Um, and yeah, I think we've already done the, the morning stars to seven as well. Yes, we have. So this is level seven mighty uh, salt morning star, which is really good. So yeah, we've uh, we've 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 found the spitting station and everything. Um, I actually got it right over here. Look, I've got uh, I got all my uh, all my globs and stuff in here, and I got a little smithing station there. But welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well, dude. Red Riders says that leeches would be a great enemy. They did at one point, I think, actually have pond leeches, but they removed them. I have no idea why. I, because I, I, I agree that would have been something that that would have been another threat. Because let, let's face it, the the koi fish in the pond is not really a big threat. It's just like you just stay away from it. You don't need to decoy bait it. It doesn't really chase you that much unless you go close to it. So they really need to go ahead and you know either make the koi fish a bigger threat to you know make you use the decoy bait more often. You know, I because I reckon if the koi fish was because the, the problem with the koi fish is when he when he like homes in on you, he just that he 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 comes kind of close to you, but then just hangs there with his mouth open and doesn't do anything. Unless you go close to him to the side, then he'll uh, he'll he'll one shot you. But other than that, he's not really that much of a threat. And thank you very much, uh, Thoraz, for the follow. Very much appreciated, dude. Uh, Shin says, uh, leeches. I like yeah. your thinking. Yeah, I no, I I agree. They they should have some kind of leech or or some kind of other enemy. That's a threat in the pond because really the only real threat is the diving bell spiders. But I recommend I I, I reckon the uh, not recommend I reckon that having more varied types of threats in biomes would it would kind of make it more interesting in terms of combat because you know we'll, we'll, the uh, the diving bell spiders you know is just pretty much they just they they have one type of attack and that's it they and then you know so so do the water fleas they have one type of attack and they're not really that hard to take out. Especially if you have a shield, so it'd be nice, like you know, and it'd be nice to see like other interactions. You know, maybe the leeches will be parasitic and try and you know, like parasite off the fish, then piss off the fish, which then makes him kind of get mad and then come after more things. You know, you know, th things like that. Uh, it says, uh, it says uh, Max Fox is a good guy. Thank you, French Red Dinosaur. <laughs> Thank you very much. But yeah, th that's the thing. I think I think they need more things to, you know, because. And we have another follow as well, uh, Leonardo9490. Thank you very much for that follow, dude. Very much appreciated. And welcome, guys, to the Fox Millions. Yeah. All right, let's go and put those guys in here, and then we got some more fuzz in there. Okay, let's go back to uh, let's go back to Mr. Robot Overlord and see what quests he has for us today. We need to be completing these quests, guys, because uh, yeah, as one of our hundred percenting goals is to unlock every single burglar of Raw Science purchase. We need twenty-five thousand more Raw Science. We've we've done quite a lot, but. Yeah, we we need to, we need twenty five thousand more. Can we do it? Maybe we can. So yeah, zipline tower time, and we will go and zip back over to the pond. I love the fact that we could actually make a zipline straight from this base to the to the root of the oak tree. I I, I was I was sure that it was going to be like slightly either slightly too far out or have something obstructing it, but it actually doesn't. I was like, because I, I built like a second. Um, I built like I, I'll show you in a minute. So if we go down here, look. I'm I built like a second zipline tower just by the pond because I kind of thought, okay, I'm gonna need to make one by the tower or, or one on the tower then, so that I can kind of turn the zipline into the oak tree, so that it doesn't have any obstructions. But it turns out that we don't have any obstructions there. I'll show I'll show you where the uh, the abandoned zipline tower is though. It will forever be marked in the history of the abandoned zipline. Yeah. So yeah, if we come to this rock here in a minute, this uh, big one coming out here, you'll see there is um, a zipline tower just on top of it. Because initially what I was going to do 
is yeah you can kind of see it from here see that see the grass right there i was i was going to go ahead and link a zip line i actually did i linked a zip line to that one and then i was going to make that zip line go kind of between the cattails and link up to this one that i'm currently going to now but it turns out that yeah we just we just didn't need it <laughs> so yeah we we didn't yet yeah, we didn't end up needing it because this one fortunately just just gets over that cattail right there and has no obstruction so it was actually it, it was perfect um and uh Thera says can you kill the brood mother from a berry tree we could do another brood mother fight that sounds good let me get some uh let me get some more burger quests and i'll go and grab a uh i'll go grab some weaponry and kill the brood mother <laughs> okay so we've done all our quests haven't we oh damn it Peter. you you could you couldn't make that one jump oh yeah i'm a clover ninja 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 ninja, ninja. <laughs> I think that's a. I think that's gonna have to be a quote for this stream, isn't it? I am a clover ninja. Then when I fall down, I'm not a clover ninja. Like that. <laughs> Definitely not a clover ninja. Okay. So let's go see Burgle real quick. Get some additional questage. Hello, Mr. Aford. You left any poo around for me today? No, no, good. Well, that's fine. That's fine. I guess I'll take the tree. I guess while I'm here, I'll, I'll harvest the acorns to take the tree sap as well. Oh, looks like that fungus has gone back into the uh, into the thingy. All right, let's go down here and see what we can find. Uh, the, the fish can even just have non-aggressive AOE effects, like swimming away quickly that pushes you really far. Or you... Yeah, exactly. They they could do a lot more with it. One thing I do like about the pond, though, Howdy, it's good to see you, again. you notice it most with the water boatmen. You actually see them like going around and like actually, you know, refilling their air and eating and stuff like that. You actually with the water boatmen, they've actually done that one in, in quite a lot of detail, which is really good. All right, do you have any work for me? You have today. Another one? Seriously? Eh, fine, whatever. And red and arm guards. Well, we need to make more red and arm ready. Okay, thanks, Burgle, for, like, you know, Hi, useless quests. To see you again. Raw science. We have 975 so far, so. 24,025 raw science required to 100%. We're getting there. Yeah, but yeah, I, th I think I think they need to do more with the fish. Like, I, d I do think they're not quite done with the pond, because there's still a couple of hidden pond labs and stuff that you actually can't access yet. So I think they are going to expand the pond. But yeah, I just hope they add more they add more diversity to it. I do I do like the pond area. And actually, what we should do is, while we're here, is go see if there are any more uh, mussel sprouts. So we'll get on our diving gear in a minute and go see. Um, actually, let's, let's do that now while we're, while we're in the area. Before I forget... Then we'll get any acorns if there are any. <laughs> it's the March of the Weevils! They're everywhere! Okay. So let's come down here and we will, uh. Hey, yeah, I just realised I could have jumped on this leaf the entire time to get into the base from here. <laughs> I could have had an easy access way to base this entire time. But no, I'm I'm stupid, so we didn't. Uh, oh, it's spoiled meat right there. Oh, have they made it? F have they have they fixed it so that um, meat spoils from the campfire now? Just pretend it's beef jerky. Yeah, I guess not. I was hoping they had actually. Uh, right, so let's get on our diving gear. Feeling a little safer now. I really have to upgrade that chest plate though. <laughs> I'm still taking a lot of damage, but yeah, let's go see if there's muscle sprouts as well. Don't even need to boil it. There you go. So let's go and drink those and then fill this up. Hey, looks uh, another big dew drop. <laughs> okay, canteen plus is full. Okay. Let's go and check out the pond lab, see if we've got any more muscle sprouts and go from there. And a french fry says, happy Halloween! Happy Halloween, dude! I hope everyone's having a great Halloween as well. Alright, so let's go check down in the, uh, let's go check down in the pond area. And see... Yeah, because I think there needs to be a reason to make the decoy bait. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I can literally outswim the diving bell spiders now, it's brilliant. Okay, yeah, let's see if there's any muscle sprouts down here. Right, do we have any in here today? We do not. Okay, no muscle sprouts today. Alright, worth the check. Oh, go away, we'll go away, uh, Diamond Bell Spider. Nobody likes you. Yeah, apparently the diamond bill spiders are weak to the salty damage type as well, unlike the other spiders who are weak to spicy. So, if you want to deal with them quickly, I guess make a salty bone dagger. Uh, no pink cabbage today. Nope, no pink cabbage today, unfortunately. 
But well, that's fine. It's all good. Alright. Boing. There you go. Okay, so back to our regular gear, I suppose. And then we'll go ahead and uh, grab some more acorns from the nearby area. That should keep me safe. Yeah. Mm. Safer. I definitely need to put like a. I think putting a um, roly poly chest plate with that diving gear is probably the best move, considering diving gear offers you absolutely zero defense. Uh, and actually, I'm probably putting on the incorrect perks here. I don't need Rockcracker, for example. Let's put this one on. Because we are now Wolf Spider territory, so we want to be a little bit careful. So yeah, I don't really need acorn bits, just the acorn shells on the top. So yeah, acorn shells, acorn tops. That's what we're after. Because we need those for all the sign frames. And if, and if Tani joins my game tomorrow or the next day, then I'm sure she will happily pick up all the acorn bits and eat them. Because <laughs> she comes around the oak tree and she's like, you leave all these acorn bits here. I'm like, I know. They're, they're, they're like such a bad food source now. Like, they're, they're, they're used in some of the late game recipes, but they don't despawn, it seems. So... I like arrows and things like that. These things don't actually despawn. Okay, well actually look, there's a top here. I guess I'll grab tree sap as well while I'm in the area. Because that's always handy to grab. Okay. Okay, okay fine. I, I grabbed one acorn bit. There we go. <laughs> one acorn bit. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's grab these. Alright, so we'll keep grabbing more acorns. So like I said, while we're in the area, we may as well grab the resources that are available to us, and we see. Some trees set right there, plant fibers too. Then we'll zip back over to, uh, we'll zip back over, and then I guess we'll, uh, we'll gear up for a brood fight then. Um, Red Fire says, uh, uptime, and, uh, uh, happy Guy Fox nights this soon. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. That was good, that was a good one. Guy Fox night. <laughs> <laughs> they burnt the fox on the pyre. <laughs> yes, because on Bonfire Night we said we 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 we, 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 we celebrate someone getting burned. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. <laughs> uh, the old English customs. All right, here we go. Let's go and grab these. Let me grab all the shells, all the tops I can see in the area. And this should bring us right back to where the oak tree is, um, where our zipline is from the oak tree. Um, I might go look for the avatar as well, just to see if we have any. Yeah. Right, there is some shrooms over here, but what I really want is plant fibers, because those things are handy. There's a lava burying underneath me as well as the grubs, so got to watch out for those. Right, is there any more up here? Let me see. Any more acorns? None there. Yeah, just gonna check around the tree just in case we have any hanging out. Here's one, just up here. <laughs> this was like a this is like a hidden acorn. It's just like, yeah, I'm just up and completely out of the way where no one really comes. The acorn does not fall far from the tree. Okay, hey ladybug. Is there a sap clump above me? No. Okay, let me grab those. Alright, let's see. Um, French Fried Dinosaur says, uh, do you have a YouTube? Yes! I do. Type in the exclamation mark YouTube and it'll give you my link. Or um, in the uh, in my uh, panels below the stream, um, it's uh, it's in there as well. I mainly do seven days videos. I also stream on YouTube as well, but um, like, I, like I said, I think I'm going Twitch exclusive at this point and just releasing videos to YouTube. <laughs> Because on, because uh, a lot, the the I think the problem is I've kind of like gated myself into doing only one only one type of content on YouTube because I've been mainly streaming seven days. So most people who watch my YouTube just want to see seven days on it. So I guess to stream other games like Grounded and anything else I want to do, I'll just you know I will just use Twitch. <laughs> it seems seems to actually work better for me. And also now that YouTube is not even notifying people when I go live anymore most of the time, um, it's probably a better idea. There's an all weaver there. <laughs> Can I sneak past you and, like, get up here? Of course I can. Go then. Spicy Outline Greatsword for the win! Okay. Grab that. Yeah. 
You know, what, you know, what one thing I found funny about this game though is the brood mother VLT, which is made of cooked bug parts, never spoils. So why does your food made of cooked bug parts spoil? That's not fair. <laughs> Seems a little one-sided, don't you think? All right. <laughs> Let's go across to the Everchar, and we'll see if there's anything in there. Um, there we go. So straight on here. Let me see if I can spot any Everchar down here, because usually this is where you will get to it. There's some usually up there and some down here, but I want to see. Because you got to watch out for the infected bugs down here once you clear the haze, because there are a, a lot of them down here. There might not be any yet, but there's usually some. Any orange glow down there? I do not see any there. Hi, Freddy. I do not see any orange glow down there, so I don't think we have any. Uh, I don't believe we have any Everchar today, so that's fine. Yeah, I wish I could make this like go directly into the castle entryway, but it's slightly too low. So one thing I was gonna do is make a tower on the stepping stones at some point, and then that'll be an easier way to get into it. And unforgiven, welcome back, dude. Right, I'm probably gonna get like knocked off here. I usually do. So let's just drop down here. Yeah, usually I get knocked off there. Okay, so I guess if you guys want to see a brief of the fight, I will. Uh, I will oblige. We'll uh, we'll go kill that spider again. There's a sleeping wolf spider around here somewhere. But yeah, I get. I think what we'll do though first, we'll do we'll do all the crafting quests first we'll get that dealt with because then after we kill the broodmother we can then go back to burgle from the uh from the hedge can't we so may as well make some efficient use of our time but yeah i can do the broodmother i can do the assistant manager later on as well um before we end off the stream because i do i should have that old safe somewhere i just have to find it no water filtration tablets needed so thirsty peat needs water <laughs> always But yeah, this area by the Pinter Bench is such a good place to set up, because aside from like the one or two infected ladybugs over there, like as long as you build over here, you're, you're pretty much safe. There's not really anything bad that spawns. There's a couple of orb weavers, but they never seem to stray too far from the sandbox. Because there's, there's orb weavers over in that direction, behind where our castle is. There's also orb weavers that way. There's like an upturned plate, and you'll find orb weavers there. Oh yeah, this over here was my little house before we uh, made the castle. This was like, initially this was like an outpost area. Um, and I had like a lot more stuff in here. It used to have like ovens and chests, but it's kind of been decommissioned now. I still have my bed in here though. But yeah, around here you really don't have many threats. Like this this area in general is actually a very good place to live. Uh, just subscribe to your YouTube. Thank you very much, French Fry Dinosaur. Very much appreciated. Welcome to the YouTube Fox Millions. Yeah, I, I released seven days videos over on there. I was going to do a grounded series, but. When I uh, recorded my initial episodes during the public test, uh, well, when it when it updated the course, um, it kind of rendered them kind of not relevant anymore. So I was like, okay, I'll just I'll just stream it. <laughs> so let me make uh, a couple of spider sliders here. Um, we're gonna get these guys going. Before we go, I'm gonna kind of you know do some more auto crafting. So spider sliders are good because they give you uh, increased critical hit chance. So definitely a cool thing for the broodmother boss fight. Um, so what do we need to make? Another spiky sprig, I think. This one. So. Make one of those, and then we go up to what else do we do? So spiky sprig. Then the next one is red ant arm guards and an eye patch plus. Okay, so red ant arm guards. That should be under armor for upper body. So let's go and craft these things. Uh, there's a black ant. Okay, red ant arm guards. Yeah, what, one thing I think they need to do as well. This says black ant chest plate. But it only shows you arm guards. They they pretty much took the same um, they took the same as you can see they've taken the same thing and just coloured it black. I hope they actually make this into a black ant chest plate and give the black ant armor a unique look at some point because literally it looks exactly the same as the red ant armor. And the, these this is not a chest plate. <laughs> these are arm guards. So yeah, I hope they um, I hope they actually add. I think they added a little bit to the arm guards though uh, compared to the red ant ones. Um, oh no, the red ant ones have them as well. So yeah, hopefully they actually make this a proper chest plate at some point. Would be very nice to see. Um, okay, then the other one we need to make is the eye patch plus, which you probably can't make yet because we need to probably make a. 
So the iPad Plus is actually a tier two thing, isn't it? Here we go. So iPad Plus, we need a fiber bandage or two first. So um, don't have any available. So how do we make a fiber bandage? What are we short on here? Fiber bandage. Oh, we can make two. Okay, so two of those, and then an eye patch plus. Yeah, for for another for another playthrough of this, I'm definitely gonna try a spider armor eye patch plus build. Just be like a be like a glass cannon, pretty much. I think that's gonna be pretty fun to try. Um, there he is. How do you do? Uh, how do you do? Uh, f how do you do followage? Um, I don't I don't have a. Uh, do I have a followage command? I'm not sure. Maybe I do. I've given my might have added one for me. I'm not sure if he did. Uh, right, so eye patch plus. Where are you? Wait, you're in armor. There we go. <laughs> Would help if I was in the right tab, wouldn't it? There we go. Eye patch plus. There we go. Yeah, this modification of the classic eye patch imports an extra bonus to style, making cool swings and stabs appear almost effortless. Yes, so this gives you uh, plus attack, less attack stamina, but it also gives you less damage resist. However, it does count as a light armor, so it also makes your stamina regen faster, which is really nice. So yeah, the eye patch plus is, uh, if you want to be a glass cannon, I would recommend go with the eye patch plus and the spider armor, and then put all your mutations into stamina and. I would say I would say the be the best um, the best build you can have if you want to be a really glass cannon type build is going to be assault morning star with a black ant shield. Then put all your then put pretty much everything into stamina perks. So have like buff lungs um, is the first one you want to get. Parry master would be another one. So then you can pretty much infinitely recover stamina very quickly. Um, I guess Mithridatism maybe, but if you're gonna give you get a one shot by most things, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. But then you want to put other, then you want to put things into. I guess you could put it into like fresh defense for like stink bugs or whatever. But yeah, I I say that maybe Coupe de Grasse and a couple of other things. Maybe the the weapon of your choice. So maybe Barbarian, because if you have a shield, it doesn't matter that you can't perfect block. So that's a cool thing. Uh, doesn't work. Doesn't work. Okay, I'll have to. Uh, uh, I think it was an exclamation mark. How long? <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I have to see if I can uh, add a command for that to see how long. Uh, what does Parry Master do exactly? Um, when you get a perfect block, it will um, it will give you extra stamina. Um, so Parry Master is very good, especially if you're a heavy armor character. Parry Master is very good. But yeah, if you want to go for a light glass cannon build, um, I would probably go for uh, Barbarian, Parry Master, uh, Buff Lungs. Then have Coupe de Grasse, and then either then probably Cardio Fan as well, because then your stamina is just going to be always full, and you can just keep swinging. <laughs> so it's going to be really really handy for you know if you're going to be like a very light glass cannon, but then just wear the Spider Armor with an eye patch plus, and pretty much the shield is there just to stop anything from one shotting you, pretty much. So because the one thing with this spider armor is it has less defense but then the eye patch plus gives you uh less damage resist as well but you then hit like a truck so yeah you usually with the salt morning star if you haven't stunned anything that, that would if you haven't stunned anything um the shield can then block an attack so you can then stun it and then take it out so it's gonna be uh it's, it's probably gonna be a really cool build um i do want to try at some point um and then with the bur with the milk molar upgrade you probably just want to put everything into stamina and maybe a bit into health so you can maybe survive one hit from most things but yeah i think that i think that'd be a really cool build to try it might the only thing i don't see it working so well against is bosses though the main reason being because like with the brood mother she can actually knock you over which then allows her summons to get free hits on you um because that she has like a screech attack that even if you even if you perfect block it which i don't think you even can the only way to really dodge it is to be like out of the way of it and to like very to the side but it has such a wide aoe that it usually always knocks you down like all the time so i tend to uh i tend to, for, for the broom on the fight i tend to go like the heaviest armor i can most of the time with the sword and board and then the antlion great sword is also very handy too i find that's probably the best setup for the broom on the fight And I think that's the only problem with the character builds they have so far is when when they have attacks that render you immobile and useless, it um, and that you, that you just can't get around. That that makes that kind of build not viable for for the boss fights. But for everything else, it'll probably be it'll probably be a very viable build. You're not going to be invincible, but hey, as long as you don't get hit and kill things quickly, you'll live. So I guess it works. <laughs> I guess we're we'll definitely we we'll definitely have to try it in another series at some point. Um, Prince Fly says, uh, opinion on grounded. Would I buy it? Yes. Do I have gripes with it in some cases? A little. 
but you know like i said it's an it's an early access game so a lot of things you know a lot of things have been being changed and updated so we just have to give it time you know to finish its development but in its current state yeah i'd recommend buying it definitely worth the buy i've got uh, so far over 400 hours out of this game alone uh, in this update alone, I think I've got at least 100 hours. <laughs> so, yeah, we... <laughs> yeah, I, I think I have, actually. I've, I think I've played, like, this week alone, I've played about 100 hours. So, yeah, I would uh, I would definitely, definitely recommend it to buy. Is it difficult? Yes, it can be. Um, but, you know, play... I would recommend if you're just starting the game, play on mild. Um, don't be afraid to just, you know, turn down the difficulty while you're learning how to parry and everything. That, that's probably the most important thing you need to learn in the game is how to parry properly. Once once you've got that, and, it, and I still haven't got that down yet either, so, you know, I'm no expert on it, but that's probably the one thing that we'll, that you'll need to be able to do. But, you know, uh, it says, uh, I pretty sure it says, uh, I got it for free. Oh, nice! <laughs> did you get it? Did you, like, win it in a giveaway? Okay, so... Let's go and see what perks I want for... Okay, so let's go and, like, gear up for the Broodmother fight. So we want to go and put on our heavy armor, our crusty roly-poly armor. And if we don't have any, I'll just make a new set. But I think we have some. All right, so thirsty feet. Nice and clean. So, yeah, we still have some of our armor sets just over here. So let me swap out the desert gear for the crusty roly-poly gear, which is right here. I feel a little less squishy now. Now I can, uh, yes, but you're definitely a lot less squishy now. But yeah, now I can, uh, yeah, we definitely need to repair it, though. The one problem with the Crossy Roly Poly Armor is because it's made from, like, a sickly bug, its durability is not great. So it defends you really well, but not for long. So you, you have to be a bit careful with it. All right. Okay, here we go. So let's go and repair all of these, because you can see I got a fair few Roly Poly parts here to just, you know, sort my armor out with uh let's make sure everything is repaired oh quartzite i need to go i do like the um i do like the look of this it's, it's like roman centurion looking armor i think that's a, i think that's a really cool armor set and it, and it looks the part as well with that with that sword it also it also looks really good with the black and uh the black hand sword and shield it looks really good with that as well but i'm on it for, for me personally i'm not as big of a fan as, of the black hand sword it's okay but i kind of prefer the uh, i just prefer the antlion great sword all, like all around for it's just superior against most things. Um, okay, so shield is repaired. Antlion greatsword needs a touch up as well. There we go. But yeah, I tell you what, look, what does look good. Like once you got your armor equipped with that, like that, that just looks like so cool. <laughs> you're, you're, you're pretty much kind of like, almost like a paladin kind of thing, just with a with a mace. It looks really good. Um, I'm definitely a fan of it. And the uh, the Soul Morning Star is actually made out of Rolly Poly parts as well, so it actually goes with the set. I hope they do add like a roly poly shield though. That that would actually be a nice tier three shield. Because killing roly polies is not actually that difficult. It's it's a lot easier than you think, especially with a with a shield and the hammer. It's a lot easier than you think. Because for the longest time I didn't do it because I was thinking, okay, it's going to be really hard to kill these things because you know it's tier three heavy armor for God's sake. It's going to be difficult. But it was actually alright. So yeah, I think we I think we actually did alright. So everything is crafting that needs to be crafting. Uh, we need a Broodmother BLT. I think I've got one of those in my smoothie box, maybe? Um, or not. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let me make some um, sticky human food smoothies so that we have damage resist. Extra damage resist in the fight never goes never goes wrong. So We can get Hedge Lord as well if you want, and uh, Worker's Comp. Oh, we can make Liquid Rage, can't we? Um, okay, let's make... Um, Let's make uh, sticky human food. Liquid Rage is really good as well as a smoothie because it gives you um, additional attack power, which is really nice. And if you pair it with the gum, um, it makes it last. It makes the uh, effect last twice as long, which is really good. And it gives you regen over time. It's so good. Uh, Shillen says, "Are you not entertained?" <laughs> um, I'm over second half coming up. I'll be in and out today. It was popping. In, it was just popping in during halftime. So I'm no worries, dude. Um, everything's still on for for movie night, dude. Uh, are we still are we still doing that at nine? Okay, so yeah, we'll get the um because there's a lot of ones we can get. Fuzz on the rocks is also a good one. That gives you that gives you extra health. And I guess if you're doing a glass cannon build, I would probably stock up on a few of these just for when you get surrounded by bugs. Um, because you can because they're easier to get than human food and pretty much offer the same benefit. Um, this gives you I think plus twenty or twenty five percent extra health on top of what you currently have, which is really nice to have. But I think we'll go for liquid rage because human food in the heavy armor is probably good enough. So we get six of those. 
Um, but yeah, Green Machine is also good. For a heavy armor player, Green Machine is really good because it gives you hyper stamina. That's another nice one to, to have as well. Um, okay. And, then, and remember, all the smoothies give you heals. So, you know, in, instant healing is much more superior to the five advantage. I never really use the five advantages unless I just happen to have them and I need to heal. Purely because the smoothies just do it instantly, especially with the muscle sprouts. They do it like, they do it straight away. Um, okay, so we need that BLT. And I I could have sworn I had one somewhere around here, but I don't know now where it's gone. Um, it's not in there. I did have one more somewhere. I know I did. Did I leave it in this box? There it is. It's in the corner there. There you go. So one brood bundle BLT. Yeah, we tried taking her on with explosives only, and that was fun. Um, ever here, ever um, a great shield that's going to be added to grounded. Oh, like um, oh, I'll tell you what would look really good if, if for a roly poly shield because this looks like um, like Roman centurion armor. You know how they used to have those big tool, those big tool rectangular shields. They used to like they used to do they used to wield them with like a spear, and they'd all like bunch together in like a tortoise formation. Having a shield like that would be amazing. That would that would work with this armor so well. And you can make that out of like maybe like a roly poly and antlion shield, like that. That would be really cool. I'd like to see also a tier. The, the water filtration I'd like to see as well. The the only other problem I see with tier three weapons as it stands is they don't. the The morning star is the only one handed tier three weapon they have. They don't yet have a dagger or a spear at tier three, and I think the antlion would make a pretty like the antlion pincers you know it makes a great sword so why can't we make an antlion dagger as well or maybe like a because we got the black ant sword but that's only a tier two it'd be really nice to have like an antlion dagger um that was that came with the spicy element already on it so you would make it out of maybe like a couple of antlion antlion pincers and then you could make it maybe with some spicy shards or a, a couple of spicy globs and maybe some web fibers because I think that would be a really good um, alternative to, you know, the Antlion Greatsword. Because, really you know, the Antlion Pincers can make a big blade with seven of them, so why can't, like, two or three make a small blade? Uh, Tortoise formation, Tanny. <laughs> All right! Yeah. Yeah, Tortoise formation, Tanny. <laughs> First one says, I play Xbox, so I get Game Pass to play games online with friends, and I get Game Pass Ultimate for $12, and for Ultimate Game Pass, you can get games for free. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Thank you, Fade. <laughs> Guys, we have Fady food. Fady food is good food. I must eat some while we zip over to the hedge. I dropped my broccoli! Home. Got it. Five second rule. King of Ames says a tower shield is what you mean, I think. Yeah. It would be nice as well if you could do, um,. One thing I would love to see as well is if you could do like um, a bit like in Skyrim, when you block with a shield, you can bash your opponent to stun them. That would be pretty nice as well. Like you could do, it would consume like your stamina. But say if you didn't manage to parry but got a block, you could bash the enemy to interrupt its attack. That would be quite nice. Um, it wouldn't do much damage to them, but say if there's an attack you know you're just not going to be able to predict the timing of, you could bash the enemy to maybe have like a 20% chance of interrupting their attack. So that'd just be like by holding down block and then pressing left mouse button. A bit a bit like how Skyrim does it. This is like, amazing. I can I can eat while we zip. That's that's awesome. That works for me. Now from right here. We actually have a zip line from right here to the hedge as well, so I know I'm going past it right now, but don't worry, we actually have a zip line back to the beginning of the hedge. Unfortunately, I couldn't make a direct one because the porch, from where from where our base is, the porch and that laser thing there get right in the way of it. So we have to kind of do all the way across here and then come back on ourselves. I do need to make a zip line from here though. 
So maybe what I could do to have a zipline back to our own base, maybe if I make a zipline tower right here, um, and then have like a zipline that goes back to the base and maybe back to the oak tree over there, would probably be a good one. But yeah, let's let's go down this one. And this will take me to the entrance of the hedge, and then we can go fight the broodmother. Yeah, I do. I do like zipping over the backyard as well. It's like, it's nice to see like because these things are painted up. But it's nice once you've done it because then you kind of you kind of get rewarded with just convenience, right? You know what I mean? And I really do like that background. It's like if you want if you want convenience, it really makes you work to have that convenience. But when you do have it, it's so much nicer. And it's 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 a nice it's good game design, honestly. Like to have it having that kind of reward system where you know you you work for your conveniences. It, it's you know sure the game's on a static map and you know where everything is after you played it once but you know that plus the different different types of base you can make and the different character builds it's it gives a good replayability like i would happily start another 100 percent series again like i would i would definitely do this all again from the beginning but do it in a different order all right so let's make our way through the hedge with blt in hand And we shall slaughter this broodmother bitch one more time. For it has been requested. So therefore, we must oblige. We'll just say Burgle made us do it, and then she won't know the difference. It's, it's all good. Hashtag blame Burgle. Okay, here we go. So we'll zip down here. Kill that guy. Spelling, you got nothing. I'm about to kill your mother. <laughs> All right, let's make our way down here. A little bit carefully. Yeah, I do have a bedroll up there because I was trying to. Uh, I was trying to come up with various ways to get to the um, to get to the bird bath without having to use a zipline. I did manage to parkour it once, but I just couldn't do it after after a certain time. Probably just build over there, honestly. And we get to listen to the chill hedge music before imminent death. So <laughs> I like I like I like that how the hedge is so chill, yet it has like the the main boss of the game so far. Um, King Clan says uh, a great ship would have an unbreakable block that would drain stamina super quickly. Um, Prince says, uh, "Who put those giant cameras-looking things in the yard? <laughs> that was that would be Wendell, wouldn't it?" But yeah, in real life, who does that? <laughs> Chin says, uh, "From Yorkshire on Sunday, it must be roast beef, spuds, veg, and gravy." Plus Yorkshire puddings. Um, well, actually, we have we do have veg, and we do. I don't have gravy personally, um, much to fade uses me. But we have a uh, we have a uh, turkey today. No Yorkshire puddings, but sometimes we have them. It just depends. But it's fady food, so you know it's, you know it's good food. Yeah, if I if I tried to make this myself, I just I just completely burn it. <laughs> I I honestly would though. I. I'm I'm no I'm no good I'm no good at cooking anything. I can use a microwave. I'm good at that, and I can boil an egg and maybe make some pasta, but that's about it. <laughs> Everything else I burn. Which is why when I used to live alone, I'd survive off uh, I'd survive off just like packet meals and TV dinners because <laughs> that's all I could do. Okay, so let's arrange our hot bar. So we got these, we got the smoothies that we want them. I don't need these. We do want the human food ones, and we do want the liquid rage ones. Because that'll help me a little bit, and then that's pretty much everything we need. Alright, let's go save it, and just make a manual save right here. 
And let me uh, eat a piece of potato before we begin, because potato is good. It's hot though. Okay, we ready? I think so. All right, let me just make sure I got everything I need. Everything's repaired. Everything's good. Okay, here we go. It is time for a big spider. And here she is. All right, so human food and liquid rage. Here we go. As you can see, we do we do a ton of damage to her. I think she's already summoned her spiderling minions. Yeah, she has. Now that's the that's that's the screech attack she does that can knock you over. So you can just uh, you can just imagine how deadly that's going to be on Woe with light armor. And you can see the spiderlings have actually done a fair bit of damage to me already. There you go, get rid of those. Okay, we good. Okay, use the healing smoothie. Here we go. And then we will eat one of these. Yum. There you go. And we get loads of Chris. Now you got all Weaver Juniors coming in. Oh, we critted one, nice. I recommend Coop the Grass for this fight, just because you can crit the Juniors every, very, very quickly. No, no jumping, lady. Alright, here we go. Back up a little more. Come on, then. Spidling Simmon. There you go. Got liquid Rage time. She's gonna use that Screech attack on me again. Nope, knock me down. Yeah, that that that's where the free hits come in. Yeah, they're, they're doing a lot of damage right now. Keep healing. There you go. Yeah, these these filings, these these little ones are annoying. There you go. Got some of them. There you go. <laughs> yeah, blocking these little guys is difficult. Okay. Oh, she doesn't damage. There you go. Almost got him. That lunge attack always seems to miss for some reason. There we go. Once we've done that, we've got to... Alright, we got it now. Go on then. Yeah. That screech attack actually does quite a lot of damage too. And there we go. And she's out of here. Yeah, very easy with the uh, tier 7 and some of these smoothies as well. You can see you just completely destroy her. And no gravy? You're one of them alien imposters. Run for your life, Fade! So she'll just... <laughs> Cooking is not that hard, Skinkling. Here's when you can't see what you're doing. <laughs> hey, Holly says, uh, I remember you ate a lot of pasta. Yes, I did. Yeah, I would eat a lot of pasta. One thing I could make. <laughs> And there you go. One broodmother dead. I can only imagine how difficult it'll be on woe mode though. Because you saw, even even though I was decked out in heavy armor, 
how much damage she actually did. Like, even when I was attacked, it's, it was actually mainly the spiderlings that got me pretty good. It's the, it's the little spiders that get you more so. Then we're back to the chill hedge music again. And I am stuck. Okay, interesting. <laughs> you get stuck on that bit, apparently. Yeah. Oh, I never realized you could like walk up this bit. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> I don't think there's anything up here, though. But yeah, I kind of need to go to the hedge lab anyway, so I can get back to... Uh... I'm flying! The start, so... Come on, you buggers. Alright, got one. Oh, that's, that's a glitchy one. There we go. <laughs> we can get rid of those guys, deal with them. Uh, oh, we gotta get this family. Yeah, this bit always confused me. I was like, yeah, we gotta go this way, and I'm just like, oh wait, nope, no we don't, we go this way. <laughs> we go over here. And then we go this way, and then we come up and out. There you go. Uh, it says, uh, this, th 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 those bulked up spooders kill me. Uh, all the eggs upside down and stuff. I know, right? Yeah, that's, that's only been a recent thing. I think maybe they're, ma they're trying to make the spiders so they can climb walls and ceilings or something. Which would be realistic, I just, I think they've probably just not figured out how to make them do it yet. So it makes sense that the spiderlings can do that. And the biggest spiders too, really. Yeah, as long as it's not a smooth surface, they should be able to climb up walls and ceilings. Okay. And drop down from here. There we go. And there we go, we can come over from our zipline right here, and, well not for our zipline, but we got a little base down here we can uh, we can hang out in as well, but it's only a very small one. Is there a crow feather here today? Let me see. Nope. Well, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you find a crow feather or two just like around there. But unfortunately, there are zero crow feathers today. So we'll walk down here and then we'll go back to Burgle. Oh, so there's a mix as they walk on the ceilings, just not worked out properly yet. It looks hilarious. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think they need to just like. They need to like be able to turn the body upside down so the legs don't like ascend into the air. That's that's the funny thing though. It makes you wonder, like, what kind of spiders are these? <laughs> okay, so we'll make our way down here. And we shall go revisit Mr. Burgle. Dinner. Alright. So you're gonna have some spiders down here and some bombardiers. So let's try and keep out the way the bombardiers and just take on the spiders. Yeah, I definitely need a shortcut zipline from there to the oak tree, but we need a tower for that, really. That was easy. <laughs> that was easy. Just slash our way through him. <laughs> you can't catch me, spider. You still chasing me? No, okay. I don't know why it's still playing the car music. The spiders literally can't get to me. 
There we go. That's better. <laughs> yeah, like still plays the combat music. I'm like, hang on a minute. I suppose it's not even after me anymore. I'm not in combat. And French fry says, uh, kill a ladybug with a boom dagger. Alrighty. I will grab myself a bone dagger and I will kill a ladybug. Sounds like a fun time. Okay, uh, let me come around this way. Yeah, a ladybugs resist. Ladybugs actually resist daggers as well, so that's going to be even more fun. They resist uh, stabbing and slashing type damage, but they're not as good against hammers. Oh. Hey, it might be okay. Let's go see Mr. Burgle and see what quests we can get from him, though. Hopefully, some not useless ones. <laughs> Crafty useless things. Yeah, I really do like the look of this Antlion Greatsword, though. It, it looks like it's on fire, almost. They did, they, they've done really well with the artwork in this game, though. Like, how just, just how all the things look and everything. It's really good. Right. Always happy to see a repeat customer. Right, anyway, let's see. Hunter for Lava. Oh, there we go. Hunter for Ladybug. Look at that. And Beast and Guts. Nice. So we have to murderize some Lava, which is easy enough. Then murderize some Ladybugs. And then... Murderize some Bees, I suppose, to make the Shin Guts. So, yeah, I guess so. Um, let's see. Shin says... Uh, who deals with real spiders? Max or Fade? <laughs> we kind of both do. It's funny we found we found a we found a spider in the middle of a toilet roll uh, thing once. Just run past you, slightly quicker. <laughs> it's funny I watched uh, the the stream we raided the other day. She she and a friend literally went to the went past the wall spider den, and her fr and her friend goes ahead and like pokes the wall spider with a spear while she's trying to sneak past it, and it just like completely aggroes the spider. It's great. I got it, I got it clipped. It was so good. And she was like, "Why would you do that?" <laughs> and the guy, the guy who aggroed it, died as well. It was great. He was, he, he was like, "Wait, I can't block ass." <laughs> it was so good. So it was, it was literally like all curled up, and he was, it was the, like, is, "Is it dead?" And then like poke, and they're like, "Nope, definitely not dead." All right, so more lava must be murderized. Yeah, we can't, we can't, we kind of both deal with the with the spiders. Like in, in when it comes to when it comes to games, I'm not scared of spiders in game, but you know. IRL spiders, I'm not very good with. I've I've gotten better with them, but I'm still not very good with them. Okay, let's go and put on our. Um, oh, that we even got more. Uh, you, you get twenty web fibers out of these guys as well, <laughs> which is the funny thing. Uh, right, swear this. A little safer now. All right, lavas must be murderized, and the lava spikes will be used in something or other. I don't know yet. One. Don't go make me do it. Not my fault. I must appease the will of our robot overlord. Hashtag not my fault. <laughs> she said, did she scream? No, no, we didn't. She, she, no, she, she didn't scream. It was just like, when, when we saw it, I was just like, well, I was, I, you know, I was I was about to pretty much go in the shower at that point, and I just saw it in there. I was like, okay. I, and it was, it was like, I picked I picked up a toilet roll, and it was just inside it, and I just I just felt this thing in my hand. I was like, oh, and I was like, what the hell? And I saw the spider just like inside it. So I was like, okay. So I just moved it to one side, you know, had my shower as usual. And I was like, hey, Fanny Faye, we got a spider. How do we deal with this? We ended up, we ended up using a vacuum and sucked it up. And she's like, is that going to kill it? I was like, mm, it might not. <laughs> and we're like, plug up the end, plug up the end. <laughs> okay, can I. Okay, I'm probably going to get hungry soon, so let me eat this. A little chewy, but. Not bad. Um, and we want to use this. No, this. Equip. That should keep me safe. There you go. Mm, safer. Yes, Pete. That will definitely keep you safer. <laughs> Maybe. But yeah, la ladybug with a um. So ladybug with a bone dagger. Okay. I guess it'll give us an excuse to make a fresh one, won't it? So, like, upgrade it with the fresh attribute. Oh, 
bloody fungus. I keep disabling that stuff and it keeps coming back. That mushroom is rude, it blew up in my face. Okay, so we are probably thirsty right now because nice and clean. Stamina is not recovering. Alright, so we'll zip back over to the base, get ourselves a bone dagger made up. We'll upgrade it to to tier seven fresh. Because I do need to I do need to do that anyway, so that's actually a good reason to do it, because you know, having challenges is always fun. I like a challenge, so if you guys have challenges for me to kill a certain insect with certain things, then yeah, as long as it's not too ridiculous, like you know, like kill kill, kill a brood mother with pebbles or something like that. Yeah, as long as it's not too ridiculous. Yeah! <laughs> it's not gonna take like all day, then I might be dried out. While we zip on over here, I can consume some fady food. Because that, guys, is what you call a plan and a half. <laughs> Kid and Labour for the first time. It's like going through hells as French Redown. It's like, yeah, it is. It can be. My suggestion? Use a shield. It makes it a lot easier. You've really got to learn to parry them before you use a two-handed weapon. Use a shield, though, makes it very trivial. Alright, so we're almost back at the picnic bench. I wonder if there's any nectar in there today. Maybe. Sorry guys, I have a mouthful of turkey right now. <laughs> so I'm not talking too much. I'm enjoying the fady food. Man, that'd be falls asleep quick. I wish I could do that. Takes me fucking ages to fall asleep, damn it. I love how the zipline just misses that grass blade. <laughs> That's so good. Okay, so. We have more lava pieces, so that can go in the lava box. <laughs> They're gonna lava me. My spider box. Wait, we can take these out actually. So yeah, we'll take out the um the web sacks. We don't need those. So brew villa chunks. But yeah, look how many brew villa chunks we actually have at this point. This is insane. <laughs> we have so many. Um, so we got those. Then I guess we will uh, continue crafting crew group as well because we're gonna need that for when we you know come back off our adventures for building purposes. So lots of Krugerate for build purposes. There you go, so we'll get this craft up. Wait, I want a force one. There you go. There you go, so we'll go ahead and do those, and that should be good. The assistant manager will take you will take you out. <laughs> Probably. Says, uh, damn, that's a thick boy, says French Red Dose. I know, right? <laughs> and uh uh Car Carlos Nomis, welcome to the uh, welcome to the stream, dude, and thank you very much for that follow. Very much appreciated. I hope I pronounced your name right. I am sorry if I botched it up. I probably botched it up. No, thank you, Fady. No! No! I gotta find, find a tiny bit. <laughs> when I finally give in, she's like, oh, I'm just kidding. I was like, oh, fine! I'm on upgrade then! 
<laughs> I'll be, I'll be like all pathetic about it. I didn't want it anyway. <laughs> Alright, let's go grab these three. Here we go. Grab those and there. Excellent, so we got that done. Uh, we can go ahead and put these away for later. Lots of crude rope is required in the construction of our base, guys. We need lots of it. And we probably gonna need it. And this this, believe it or not, is still probably not enough. So there we go. Customer says uh, that was a uh, perfect pronunciation. Hooray! I actually got it right. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, dude. How you doing? Ooh, okay. There's extra fatty food. Uh just two. Thank you, Vinny. Yeah. There's extra fatty food, guys! Oh my god! I must stuff my mouth with a spud. Oh. Okay, so. Kill a ladybug with a bone dagger. Okay. Let's go do that. So, let's make ourselves a bone dagger, because I need to make a fresh one anyway, um, as part of our 100%ing. So... Yeah, having every type of weapon with every upgrade is going to be a thing. So, Bone Dagger, where are you? Salt Morning Star. Um, oh, I think it's under it's classes as the underwater weapons, isn't it? It's down here. So, Bone Dagger, here we go. So, let's get one of those. And let's go ahead and upgrade that to a salt. No, not a salty one, a, uh, a fresh one. Um, so, on here, we can go ahead and take this guy. And we'll upgrade him to... There we go, and then we will choose fresh. There we go. And yes, take that one. There we go. Bone dagger is ready. So let's go and uh, get that equipped, and we will find some ladybugs to take on with it, shall we? There we go. So tier 7 fresh bone dagger. This will actually be good against infected creatures as well, I think. So what we should use this on is the infected ladybugs, shouldn't we? We should go, we should go pay the infected ladybugs a visit. Because killing the infected ones actually counts towards your quest as well, so we should probably do that one. Um, as well, and get that done. So if we go over here, we should see a couple of them. Just hanging out here. Unless we killed them already, but they're usually hanging around this area. Let me see. Lots of shrooms over here. Right, any infected creatures? Let me see. Because usually, uh, they're usually kind of around this sort of area. That's a bee. Hmm. Oh, there's a gum nugget there. Hang on. Let me uh, let me harvest that. One gum nugget. Do we have any infected ladybugs today, or do we not? Hmm. Maybe I have killed them all. I may have killed them all, actually. There were two here, but I think they haven't respawned yet. All right. Well, I guess we'll do it. we'll go try this out in the haze biome then, um, and see what this is like. Yeah, let's go. Let's go to the haze. We'll try this out, and we'll try and kill some infected ladybugs over there. Instead, because we should find a couple in there, in at least there should be at least two, maybe three, that we'll find just roaming around there. And if not, I know an area where we can go. Thank you, Fade. Fade. <laughs> okay, so mining helmet. There we go. Put that on. Feeling a little safer now. Carlos says, what weapon is your favorite at the moon? A mix, a toss-up between the Antlion Greatsword and the Salt Morning Star. I love the Salt Morning Star because it's a one-handed weapon, so I can use a shield. Um, but yeah, the Antlion Greatsword is with spicy on it. It does so much to spiders. It is, it is really good. Okay. Okay. Try and take these guys out really quick. Okay. Yeah. It's not too bad. It can four shot one of these guys, that's pretty quick. Okay. Let's 
Come on, Pete, get that sounder up. Hey guys, no one. And this one. Okay, let's take some out pretty quick. That's not bad. Okay, you know what? I may as well harvest these guys as well, well as we take them out. I love how when you harvest them, there's like an extra pool of blood that like appears under them. <laughs> it's like it, it, like it's extra extra blood festy once you actually pick them up again. Okay. Yeah, the only thing with this bone arrow is it doesn't last very long. That's the the one the one problem with this one. Um Okay, hang on. I uh I must take a bite of fady food again. Okay, there is some quartz I done here, but I'm not really after that today. We are after infected ladybugs, wherever they may be. Oh, I hear one. Alright, infected ladybug fight, here we go. Oh! Ready for the bombs! Got it. Go on then. Ooh. Oh, Sano, you need to recover. There we go. Nope. Oh. Okay, back up again. Go on then. Oh, okay, there's more right there. Come on, then. Got him. One infected ladybug with a bone dagger. There you go. Okay. Oh, there's a black end here. Oh, thanks for the kill. I will help you, black end. There you go. Alright, how does it do on this thing? I'd take some apart pretty quick. Not as good as a Salt Morning Star, but I reckon a minty Salt Morning Star, or not a minty one, sorry, uh, a minty um, Antline Grace will probably do a lot better against those guys. Well, that's not bad. Okay, so we got an infected ladybug there. There you go. She says, Get him, girl! <laughs> no! Right, I think I see it. Is that another one over there? Yeah, I wanna. And I guess, uh, I guess I'll go for Fungal Grace as well, considering I'm considering right here. Go on then. Go on then. Yes! Mass murderage! Go on then. There we go. Took a little bit of damage, but not too bad. Whoa, what happened here? Uh, hmm, okay. Yeah, you can see the durability on this thing is running out already, though. <laughs> yeah, I may as well harvest the Fungorus from down here while we're here, so... There's an infected lava there. Come on, then. He's out of here. <laughs> That's pretty fun fighting these guys with this dagger. It's a little bit more difficult just because it does a lot less damage. <laughs> Tournaments for grounded. Oh, that'd be cool. 
Oh, hello. Come on then. Who invited you to the party anyway, Mr. Spider? I'm after infected ladybugs. You're not infected. You're not even infected. You're 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 disqualified. There you go. Unfortunately, in heavy armor, you uh, lose stamina very quickly. Right. Hello. Have that. Yeah, he's out of here. Come on in. There you go. Another one. Come on in. Where are you going? Come back here, you. Okay. Oh, I heard of it. Okay. Yeah, the only real thing you got to watch out for with those guys is their, their explosions. They do hit pretty hard. Right, any more infected macated ladybugs? Have that. He's out of here. Yeah, got him. May as well take the mic first too. Are there no more infected ladybugs? There's gotta be more around here somewhere. There's gotta be some more somewhere. But where? Yeah, bugus. Would you guys go away? There's no one. God, how many spidlings today? That's a lot of spidlings. All right, just stand them. That's fine. There's still one. Oh my god, how many are there today? That's a lot of spiderlings, okay. Did you seriously catapult me into the air? There you go. Another one? Are oh, you stuck? Nope, you're not stuck. You're just trying to fake it, weren't you? Go on then. There we go, we got him. <laughs> Alright, there's gotta be some more infected ladybugs around us somewhere. Oh, you're caught in a web. Have that. I'll help you by killing you. Uh, right, so we should be able to go... Up here? Here we go. Okay, there is a sting bug that usually sleeps just up here though, so you gotta be careful when we come out of here. Yeah, there's loads in here. There you go, there's no one. Have that! You bugger. Ah, there's one up here. Hello. I'll take you down. Oh, he's stuck in the ground. Come on. Got him. <laughs> I can do glitchy things too! 
All right, here we go. There should be another one up here. There it is. Don't even need to boil it. Oh, another infected ladybug. Oh, this thing's always out. Okay, I have to do it with this because that one's almost dead. But we did do one ladybug with the uh, with the thing, so we have done it. Oh, get out of that. There's two. Alright. Got him. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Ground is next boss. The infected brood mother. There we go. Can you imagine? Can you imagine an infected brood mother? That someone infected spiders. Oh my god. I heard another I heard another regular ladybug that I gotta kill. There it is. It is time for you to die. Nice stone recover, and here we go. Aha! Three hundred cross science. Yes. There you go, guys. That one's done. All right. Did you go away? Bloody lawn mates. Ah, oh, damn it, mates. There you go, got him. My aim against these little tigers is uh, not good. Where are you, lawn mate? Okay, I lost him. I lost him. There's more down here, though, isn't there? Come on. Got him. Oh. Yes. This little bug is just like, jump out of the dark. Have that. Another one? Okay, is that it? Yeah, I was chasing That was chasing a weevil. <laughs> Alright, well, we've done that one. So we still have to craft the bee shin guard. So once we've done that, then that'll be our bow quest all done. So I guess we may as well just run back to it, because only like it's gonna take us just as long to get back to the zip line to come back that way, so we may as well just run to this one. There's another ladybug right there. Not that I really need any more ladybug parts, so we're kinda good to just, you know, leave that one alone. That's a lot of lava. Let's go around that one. Yeah, these ladybugs love blowing things up. So they love it. They, they love explosions, these bugs. They really like it. Hang on. I fell in the bloody trench, didn't I? Don't I'm trying to eat here. I'm literally trying to eat, hold forward, and shift, <laughs> and not run into a sing bug. <laughs> will Tiny Pete be lucky today? Or will he run headfirst into a wall spider and get taken out? Hold on. Let me go around the stepping stone, here we go. There we go. Now it's literally a straight shot over here. So we need, what is it? B shin guards. Okay, that's easy enough to get. We should have everything we have need for that anyway. I'm giving says um, 41 zero eagles. What a blowout game. Almost over fourth quarter. Nice, dude. Watch out for the bombardiers around here as well, because there are a couple that kind of hang out over here. Uh, 
There we go. And we have arrived. I see my zip lines. Our lovely, lovely zip lines. There's our tower right there. Oh, look, the moon's lighting it up like that. Oh, look, look how look how much the moon is lighting the tower. That looks cool. I don't know why it's so bright. Oh, no, wait, it's just shadows distance. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, like, it looked like the moon was completely lighting up the tower, though, but I think it's just to do with the uh, how far the shadows render. Because, you know, shadows are a GPU killer. Like, they, <laughs> they are. And how you doing, Rad Dog? Welcome to the stream over on the YouTube side. I don't require full point to make weapons into um, to shocky sticks. Ooh. Now that'd be nice. Well, they were talking about having um, power in the game, so maybe we'll, we'll be able to actually update some weapons with like a shocking augment or something like that that does take something like that, like a little capacitor or something that you find on a robot. Because that would be cool. Okay. So we just got to craft the bee shin guards. And then what we'll do is, I think what we'll do after that is, uh, because you guys want to see the assistant manager again, I will try and find my old save that has that in. And we'll go ahead and find the assistant manager and then come back to this. So bee shin guards, that's going to be under here, I think. So got to be under leg... Uh, B shin guards, there we go, so, eh, not too hard to make. Boom, there we go. So let's put that in the burgle box of uselessness, because that's where it belongs. Haha, -ha. so, B shin guards, where are you? Uh, I don't even see where they are. <laughs> there they are. Yeah, they're, they're actually regular B parts. I think we made, like, another, another set of B armor as well at, at some point, but I can't remember exactly where it was. Okay, so... We can go ahead and put these ladybug parts away. So we're, we're finally looking a bit better on ladybug parts now, because uh, Burgle has tasks us with killing a few. And we do have some more spider parts as well, so these guys can sit up in here. So three more spider fangs and some spider venom. Very nice. Okay, we're doing, we're doing not too bad on that. Um, okay, I need to repair this thing, don't I? Because that wore down very quickly. So the one problem with the bone dagger is, is how quickly it wears down. It's, it's a great weapon, but it just wears down very quick. So you've got to be on top of repairing it most of the time. Um, or take two with you if you're going to use daggers, because their their durability does kind of stink. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I would take uh, I would take two. Out of out of personal preference, it's the same with shields as well. Especially if you're playing WoW, definitely take two. Because one of them is probably going to run out during your fight with your first spider. So having two will uh, prevent that. I guess we'll have a separate box of fungal growth. I guess we'll go we'll go in this one right here. Um, well, how about the one that has the bombs in it? Yeah, let's add, let's do it. Let's add fungal growth to the ones that has bombs in it because this is kind of like the thing that makes the bombs, isn't it? So we'll put those in there. And if we want more fungus spatcho, we can go ahead and use those as well. So that's fine. Dry grass can sit in here with the others. I could probably harvest up most of that other dry grass as well. Uh, right, can I repair my stuff? Yep, let's get everything repaired here. As you can see, we have uh, taken quite the beating on some of this. Um, here we go. And then this guy. I feel a little less squishy now. Okay. So, there we go. Let's go save real quick here. Um... Okay, and then let's go ahead and load a save. So we're going to have to quit out of here. Um... And then let me go back into single player, and we'll see if we can load the uh, thing. Uh, he's gonna take you down to Shadow Town. So it's, just, it's fine. It's gonna be. It's gonna be fun. I haven't fought him in a while, so he probably will. So let's go continue, and let's see. Show backup saves. We should find. There's the ones in the spider cave. We should find the one in the black ant hill lab, I think. <laughs> wow! Look at all these saves for the brood mother fights. Okay, black ant hill. That one. Here we go. All right, assistant, safe? assistant manager fight. Safe for okay, so what are we dealing with? I can't remember what weapons we had. Okay, crow crossbow with feather arrows, um, smoothies. Okay, we actually kind of have everything. All right, haven't done this in a while, guys, so I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna die. But here we go. One, two, three. Here we go. All right. Kill that thing. Come 
Come on then. Those apps don't really hurt too much. Okay. And Let me remember this way. I want to see what um, mutations we have available. Uh, mutations, status. Okay, we want to take off that one and put that one on. There we go. There we go. Come on. Yeah. These apps don't really hurt too much. Come on, then. Yeah, more, uh, more resistance. Okay, here we go. Okay. Oh, I got caught on the cameras. I jump over that. Okay, here we go. Okay. Oh, that, that kind of hurt. <laughs> yeah, the, la the lasers do hurt a lot. Lasers. Okay, duck into that one. There you go. Here we go. Smack him again. There we go. Got him. Right, now we can get him. Come on, then. More tasers are coming. All right, let's back out this way. Oh, okay, jump over that. Okay, got him. Next. Okay. Oh. Okay, that was lucky. Yeah, these lasers hurt a lot. Right, now the zappers are on as well. Right, stay in the middle, stay in the middle. Don't get zapped. Okay. Right. Now we're good. Okay. Here we go, stay here. Keep under the lasers. Okay. Okay, now we're better. Come on then. Try and stay in the middle. Nope. Oh, okay. Try and stay just in the middle. We should be alright. Oh. Don't get too close. Oh, he's, he's staying at a distance, the little cheat. That's not fair. Alright. There we go, stay under these. Okay. There we go, we'll just shoot him, I guess. Okay, now. Oh, maybe not. Oh, boy. Okay, stay under here. Yeah, staying in the middle is definitely the best thing to do. Until those things turn off. Because literally, he will just keep spamming this attack right now. Okay. Yeah, these lasers last a really long time now. Come in, bro. Okay, we got him. We got him. Yes! There we go. There you go, guys. Whew! 
Look at that bollock stone threat dog. I know, right? <laughs> and she says, get him, boys. <laughs> says, uh, so thanks for leaving the heroin to the, uh, are in for a tie for first favorite streamer. Oh, thank you very much for a try, dinosaur. <laughs> uh, there we go. And then you can get the assistant manager so you got from that. All right, well, there we go, guys. That is the, uh, that is the assistant manager. Uh, he's pretty much, free. he's, he's kind of easy, but he's, if you get, if, essentially, what can, what can mess you up at the beginning is if you try and jump over laser, as you saw right here, I kind of tried to jump over laser, got caught on this thing. So be very careful careful if you're going around the edge because but there are like sticking up parts of the arena that stop you jumping um you, you'll probably notice towards the end i just i just kept crouching around the middle it pretty much stay in the middle it's actually the safest spot you literally just follow the laser around in the middle once you got rid of his ads um so yeah that's pretty much the assistant manager fight if you want to see him again let me know um i can do it again or if you want me to move back on to doing some other stuff then we can do that jen says well done thank you dude Yeah, I wish you could repeat this guy. And you actually get a, you get actually get a um a thousand uh, raw science now, which is really good. And then you use that to open these. There you go. Which is very easy. But yeah, I do like that boss fight. It is what is a very fun boss fight. Definitely did better this time. I thought I was gonna die again actually. We came very, very close. But yeah, once you finish it, it says 404, management not found. I, I love that reference, that's awesome. Okay. Okay, here we go. Alright, here we go, Black Ant Hill. So was my last logout save, it was right here, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. There you go. And the French Rider says it looks like. Yeah, it is, it is a very fun fight. Okay, that's my logout save. Here we go. But yeah, every, anytime you want to see this as a manager boss, let me know. That should keep me safe. Mm, safe fur. I love how when you enter the when you enter the backyard, you hear an explosion in the distance. Yeah, it's a very fun fight. I'd recommend making a save just before him so you can go back anytime you want to fight him again. But I'd recommend as well, like, if I was on WOMO though, I would have died to that first laser. Most certainly would have died to that. But yeah, that was in a set of antlion armor, so it is definitely possible with antlion armor. Um, you don't need the heaviest armor to take him out. You could you could probably even do it in ladybug armor and, or spider armor, on medium at least. On woe, it might be a bit harder. As, essentially, as long as you don't get hit though, as long, if you have a shield and you don't get hit by the zappy, you saw you the zappy things didn't really do that much damage either. If you don't get hit by those, it's actually, um, it's actually a lot easier as well. I'm assuming on WoW those big zapping, um, those zapping bolts do a lot more damage to you, but at least on medium they really don't do that much when you got armor on. It says, um, can we raid uh, Hammer 214? Yes, if they're live when I'm done, sure. Always nice to have a raid target, so that's fine. Hang on, let me see, what time is it now? Uh, 7.3. Okay, I think we've got time to do one more round of Burger Quest before I end off though, so that's what we're going to do. There we go, we have now a fresh and a spicy. So there's two of the Bone Daggers done. So let's go see Mr. Burgle. Nice and clean. And we should get some additional questage. Um, actually, before I go and see Mr. Burgle for additional questage, you just... We can go ahead and grab ourselves some foods. Because food is good, right? We like food. It's tasty and it's nutritious and it's just a cooked up bug. So, yeah. Yum. I guess it's kind of gooey on the inside, but hey, it's all good. Actually, I, w I wonder, if you, if you cook a bug, right? Like, say if you get like a big like rhino beetle lover or something like that, that's actually pretty, pretty damn enormous. If you were to cook that bug, would it, st would it stay gooey on the inside? Because I watched a video of Bear Grylls eating one, and it's like it literally like exploded with goop in his mouth. But I'm wondering if you actually if you actually were to cook it, 
whether it would kind of kind of how like um it would like would like boil it out and make it solidify or I don't know. Or, or, or would just would the would the lava just explode from being heated up? <laughs> probably probably that honestly. It, pro it probably would just explode um, unless you like boiled it maybe. Um, okay, here we go. I don't I don't know why I'm thinking about this. <laughs> oh well, I don't know. <laughs> just interested. Your first fight was hilarious. Highly recommended. Oh yeah, the one the one where I died in the first time. Yeah, got caught between the laser things. Got like literally scissored by the lasers. Yeah, one lesson with that fight: never. Stay in the diagonal corners because you will get scissored by the laser beams. They used to all rotate in the same direction, but they changed it now, so they go in different ways. Armageddon um, says the game is almost over. No worries, dude. I love our zip lines. They're so convenient. Yeah, so that was my initial tower, but then it was just like, okay, well. I, I think at least this way as well, we kind of avoid most of the mosquitoes. We don't aggro, because I think if we'd have gone low, we would have aggroed the mosquitoes, because there's usually like two or three that hang out along this along this area here. Yeah, so that, as you can see, there's a couple there. And by doing this, we don't really aggro them, which is really good. So we kind of stay out of their aggro range. I'll have a look. I'll have a look at. I'll have a look at. Have a see what they see what they like as a as a uh, as a streamer as well. I, I kind of like to bring. If if not, then we can do Dragonus. I think we'll do. What's what's Hammer currently playing? Because I tr I try and raid people who are playing the same game if possible. Um, just because I know if people have come to watch Grounded, they would probably be more interested in. It. They would probably. I, I kind of do it not just you know not just because it's the same game, but also maybe to the benefit of the streamer that I raid as well. Because the thing is, if like you know, say if I'm playing Grounded and people have come to watch me play Grounded, and I go and raid another streamer and they're playing a totally different game, maybe there will be a lot less people that are interested in the different game, and therefore the the raiders won't stick around long for the other as long for the other streamer so it, it, it might help them out less in relation to someone who's playing the same game you know what i mean because you know pe i'm sure people who've come to watch grounded are interested in maybe seeing more grounded even if it's from a different person so i try and keep to the same game but there you go he's 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 only he's only asked twice i've been given it's all good he's he's all good Yeah, I saw I saw a dinosaur. I'll, I'll have a look and see if they're playing the same game. Then, then, then most definitely. Um, so play, playing playing visage. Always happy to see a repeat custom three volts. Visage, eh? Okay, so we gotta kill five bees, make more red and iron guards, which is fine, and kill spiderlings. Okay, you haven't sent me after spiderlings in a while. Howdy! It's good to see you again. All right. You... Rural science. We have two thousand eight hundred and seventy-five. So we're getting there, guys. We need nearly have another science set. All right. Yeah, I'll see. Because yeah, if if they're not playing the same game, I'll probably raid a um, I'll probably raid someone who is currently like when when I when I play seven days and if Dragon S plays seven days, for example, then I would raid her then. Because it'll probably it'll probably help. not not that she really needs help with views. I mean, she gets tons of views, right? Like Dragoness is a very popular streamer, and well earned too. She's actually very good. I'm definitely a Dra I'm definitely a Dragoness fan. I don't really pop in very much anymore because I'm trying to give myself some kind of break from seven days before a twenty hits. So I'm playing it a lot less than I usually would. But yeah, I I think Dragoness also is a very good streamer. Very chill, very down to earth. Fun person to be around. And she usually has some kick ass music in the background as well. <laughs> so that that always helps. It's like kick ass music. Okay, so spidlings are the first thing we gotta do. Um, and I think. Uh, what we'll do is we'll also grab more plant fibers on the way as I see them, because, you know, we kind of need to do that as well. But yeah, if we, um, that's a shame that we got that quest after I found all those filings in that little cave there. But yeah, if we go up to the plank, we should find a couple up there. Um... So, let's see. Um, one, two... 
So French Ray, does does Hammer also play Grounded as well, or do they play a completely different set of games? If they if they play Grounded or Seven Days, they're they're much more likely to receive a raid, by the way, <laughs> just because of, yeah, same game, same games as I do. Uh, oh. Let me see. Oh. Let me go this way. Right, so the spider plank is up here, isn't it? Somewhere. Oh, we're going the right way. We're we going the right way. Yeah, just literally turn left and it's over here. Okay, so yeah. We should find some spider links in here, hopefully, that we can go and kill. Because um, they usually hang around by this plank. There's usually at least a couple here that just, you know, they just wander about and then they aggro on you and try and kill you and then they fail. Oh. There's no view here. God, he was dead before I even knew what hit him. Okay. Let me put on my mining helmet and then we'll go in here. Feeling a little safer now. Okay. Is there a wolf spider down here? Sounds like it. Here yeah, there is. Alright. Well, there's a bull spider dead. Any spiderlings? Oh, we might find some here actually. There we go. Oh, it's the freaky ones! the last one. Oh, he's up there. Got him. Yay for freaky spiderlings. Those guys, those guys are so funny. Yeah, they, they, they definitely have issues with the, uh, oh, hello. There we go. 200 raw science, that was easy. See, that's easier, that's easy 200 raw science compared to the ladybug ones for 300, which is a lot harder. <laughs> Okay. Alright, well that's that one done. So then we just say to kill some bees and craft some arm guards. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go annoy some bees, shall we? That'll be fun. Um, let me... Okay, hang on. Let me put this back into the slot. I really don't need these smoothies all equipped here. Um, and then we will raid this one. That should be all good. Uh, equip. There you go. I feel a little less squishy now. Awesome. Um, Raddog says, Max, I finally got my new PC and stream for the first time the other day. I had a blast with A19. I can't wait for A20. Nice, dude. Well, great job on getting up, getting up streaming again. That's awesome. I'm glad you finally got that sorted out. And by the way, you're, you're welcome to join us on uh, Tuesdays and Fridays because we, uh, we do Twitch integration uh, with Enter at Your Own Risk. So if you want to join us, you are more than welcome to. Okay, so we got to go kill some bees now, so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to run back ourselves, just because it's going to be quicker. Going to be quicker than going all the way to the oak tree, then to a zip line. God, Burgle's got us running all around the backyard, hasn't he? But hey, at least while we're walking around, we can pick up um, more of these too, so... More plant fibers is definitely going to be handy, because we're going to need those. As we go, so I will pick any up that kind of fall directly on the way, or, you know, close enough to the way. We're actually right by the mystery machine now. The mysterious mystery machine. Yeah, I honestly, I honestly love the detail that they've actually put into this machine as well. I think that's actually a really cool thing too. There are some gnats around here as well, which is also good. This area is really good early game for hunting as well, because there's, there's gnats, there's weevils and aphids just everywhere around here. So. And there's mushrooms that grow pretty close by, so yeah, I, I I reckon how they've made this map is like they've made some very good game design choices with how things are here. And hey, look, we've actually got a uh, actually got a little station here. Do I have anything useful in these boxes? Just a little red ant parts and a clover poncho. Eh, well, actually, I'll tell you what, we're gonna need these red ant parts to um, we're gonna need those actually to make the um, armor, aren't we? So I will take those. Actually, a good idea. That's actually a good idea. I never have good ideas. What's going on? <laughs> What's wrong with me? Um, Christian's uh, opinion on um, opinion on technology. Kind of a broad question. Like technology as a whole, or a certain type of technology, or the technology in the game. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you're referring to. 
I mean, my opinion on technology as a whole, I mean, well, <laughs> silicon shortage is definitely having an effect on uh, prices of stuff. That's probably the main thing that is on my mind right now for like, you know, especially when it comes to PC gaming and buying components and things like that. Just the whole, you know, the whole price of a GPU is still, is still on the rise again, it seems, so. The chip market and the silicon production are not in a healthy state right now. Um, you know. So yeah, we're, we're uh, for like PC gamers at this point, it's kind of a, it's kind of a sucky time, especially if you're wanting to upgrade your system. Sometimes that you can find a good deal, like if you have like uh, the new egg shuffle or whatever, you can get, um, you can actually get a GPU at MSRP, but. You know, you still got a, you still got a winner raffle for that. So trying to actually find a GPU at a decent price is pretty bad. <laughs> um, says uh, I had to use my phone's hotspot. Um, says that uh, says all oh, technologies. Says French for dinosaur. Okay, yeah. Well, that's uh, that's kind of my opinion on PC technology at this at this current point in time. Although what I'm really happy about is the fact that Ryzen and Intel are now like actively competing against each other you know right ryzen is actually giving intel a run for its money at this point um with the with the 5000 series processors and you know it's it's kind of nice to see that they've they finally caught up so now intel has actually come up with better architecture for their processors with the p and the e cores but then when it came to the whole windows 11 thing it's that uh, like it seems that windows 11 has been running slower than Windows 10 on AMD processors, so that's another, another not so good thing. You know, it was it was that it was that bad that even Linus Tech Tips, who's like a who's like a computer a computer builder and review, part reviewer YouTuber, switched his entire server switched his entire production server to Linux from Windows because it was that bad. <laughs> but yeah, I've had both Intel and Ryzen processors, so you know I've been happy with I've been happy with both. Like the 4790K Intel, I like the problem with Intel processors is like some of the overclocking ones run really hot. Hey B. One dead B. Okay, let's see if I can find any more bees just hanging around. There's one. There's one bee. Let's just into twelve years old. Then, mine, then anything is already true. Yeah, that's very true. Um, says uh, some some games improved hand-eye coordination. This is true. I think a lot of games can improve hand-eye coordination as well, which is good for me. <laughs> I need all the hand-eye coordination I can get. Being a blind bugger at all. Oh, that we just got. That we just got owned. Wait, why are you after me and not the ants, dammit? What did I ever do to you? There you go. Step out of the liquid, there we go. Wait for that boiling to go away. Can I step into it now? Yes. Thank you, Mr. Bombardier. I will take your stuff. Did we get a boiling vent? Yes, we did. Nice. Oh. Oh. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that was close. Do, 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 do. <laughs> that, that was very close. There we go. Alright. Let us get up here, and we will go ahead and take on some bees. Lots of bees to be exact. Plus, yeah, what I'll do is actually I'll drop down into the beehive, and we'll see if we can... Um, I'll see if we can steal any more nectar from them. Which is gonna make them, which is gonna make them angry, but still, that's kind of what we want. We we kind of want to fight them. Is this me or are Rubik's cubes annoying? I mean, there's a there's a method to solving them. I wouldn't say they're annoying. It's just if you don't know the methods, I guess it can be very difficult until you learn. Because because like like any puzzle, there's there's like a a set of methods that if you follow, will allow you to arrive at a solution quite easily. So I guess it's just all about learning those methods and trying that out. But I guess to someone who doesn't learn those methods and who just... Oh crap. Oh, that was lucky. 
I would I always do that. <laughs> I always fall through this. That's fine though, you know why? Because we've actually got a set of stairs right here, which will take us right back up. Look at that. See? I didn't fall. See, look, I'm, I'm, I'm still high up. I didn't fall. Nothing happened. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? I didn't fall down. I don't do that. Too good for that shit. <laughs> right, any human food up here? No. Yeah. I think they need a different... Um, they need a different theme for the picnic table. Because um, currently it uses the same one as the... Um, it uses the same one as the hedge. But I think it, this place would benefit very much from its own theme. Would be very nice to see. Okay, here we go. The method is peel off the sticks and replace them. Exactly, you're a dog. Exactly. <laughs> um, Abigail says, yes, sir. Well, what a win. Game's over. Nice, dude. Glad to see you guys won. Awesome. So, uh, Unforgiven, how, how many fireballs have been consumed? Alright, so if we come down here, we should see there's lots of bees here. Hello. Hello there. There's no. There we go. Three bees. Good stuff. There's three bees down. Do any of these guys have pollen on their legs that we can take? Nope. Yeah, sometimes you will find that there's pollen on the bees' legs that you can use. But it looks like they don't have any. Two more bees to kill, then we should be good. Come on, then. Come on, then. Oh, okay, that one, that one hurt. Okay, we got a lot of angry bees on us. There's one. Man, these guys are relentless. There you go. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. We're gonna. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Okay. Got him. Ow. There you go. Got him. Huh. There you go. Come on. I want your neck, so damn it. Got him. Yes. I will harvest all your remains. I am the harvester of bee souls. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna alcohol until next week. Ah, I see. <laughs> that bee attack always seems to miss. Oh! God, I sliced that guy in the neck. Wow. <laughs> uh, 46 6, final score. At one point, it was a blowout, 38 0. Oh, wow. And it says, um, <laughs> Holy sheets, you pissed off the sheets, you pissed off the bees. Um, favorite quote It's always good to have wood. Right, so where's the way down to the beehive? Here it is. Next ish. There's. Oh, my inventory's full. Oh, damn it. Oh, well, there's only one piece of next here today, anyway. Go on. Go on. Come closer. One. Okay, don't pull out the beehive. <laughs> I'm fighting them in the hives. Yes. Oh. Okay, that was lucky. 
<laughs> that was really lucky. Oh, there's loads of eggs down here, actually. Okay, I tell you what. Drop the... Okay, eat this. Better than starving, I think. Wow. There's all, there's all the nexus down here. Wow. Okay. Okay, yeah, sometimes you can find it down here, I guess. Um, I guess it just rolled out. Okay, I'll, I'll take that. That's easy, uh, easy nexus right there. Thank you for your body parts. I'll take those. Yes, Bur Burgle made me do it. Burgle made me kill the bees. His fault. We, mu we must appease the robotic overlord. <laughs> or stamp it. Yes, that's that's one. Uh, and how's that? Uh, uh, ooh, <laughs> always good to have wood. <laughs> yeah, but it, it depends, honestly. Like, if we're talking about like favorite game quotes that I say in game, then yeah, we we have a lot of them, <laughs> including the stump song and putrid gear. Filtration tablets needed. We have a lot. We have a lot of those. Oh, there's another. Oh, I thought it was another dead bee, but it's just a piece of dirt. <laughs> yes, I'm definitely a blind bagger. I can't tell the difference between a bee and a mound of dirt. <laughs> Stump, 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 stump. Guys, in this game, there are no stumps, so we won't find anything inside the stump. So, inside any stump, we're going to find nothing. Hooray! <laughs> yeah, there's no stumps in this one. I guess I have to replace it with, like, uh, I don't know. What would it be? There's no real stumps in the game. We says, weed, 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 stem. And inside the weed stem, we find flying fibers. Hooray! <laughs> weed, 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 stem. Now I must take my axe and chop them. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We, we, I don't think we can really make it work with grounded. We, we might be able to, but I don't think it's. Uh, I don't think it's going to be that good. <laughs> it's worth a try, though. You know, you know what? It's, well, that's not good. Play on. Look how many ant parts we've got here. Jesus. <laughs> we have murderized so many ants. <laughs> wow. That's a that's a lot of worker ant parts that we've got there. Look at that. Again, it says uh, Fox uh, Tony is on the game uh, is on the game we're going to stream this day. Well, I've I've kind of already like gone into the mindset for a movie night, and we've already said it that we're going to do a movie night. I guess so. We should probably just do that this time, and then we'll have uh, we'll have that another time. So yeah, usually changing up changing things up last minute, we're just gonna, it's just going to cause problems. But if he's able to get you a beacon to the base when we come on next, then I can uh, I can find where you are. Okay. Uh, here we go. So we want to do plant fibers and webs. Plant fibers and spider webs. Okay. At least we got a good uh, at least we got a good amount of stuff now. That's looking good. Um, right. So everything away. Yep. So spider box. Uh, wait, that's the bird. That's the bird box. Where's the bee box? There's the bee box. Look at that. So lots more, uh, lots more fuzzy, fuzzy bee fuzz. Uh, did we not get any stingers out of that? Oh, you know what? We probably were. Ha we probably had full inventory, so we didn't even get any stingers. But that's okay. It's like we only really need those for a, for a few things anyway. So spider box. We have fangs and this and venom. Good stuff. So we don't have that much fire venom, but it's, it's okay. And uh, Queenie Boo, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Uh, the dance of the aphids. Oh yeah, for grounded dance of the aphids. <laughs> oh, works. Fresh says, says I want to know the real answer to why to why humanity exists. Mm, evolution, luck. <laughs> kind of how I see it. We evolved over many, 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 many millions of years. And thankfully the dinosaurs were wiped out, because if they were still around, we probably wouldn't exist. <laughs> so yeah, many many world events, it would seem. Uh, bombardier parts, here we go. So here, so we got some more boiling glands, there we go. So we got four boiling glands, so we can make another oven now if we want to, which is awesome. Yeah, hey, I thought I put those spider I thought I put those spider fangs away, damn it! Get in there! In that box. Stupid. Meh. Okay, acid glands, here we go. We can probably make a ton of bug rubber with this as well, because we've got so many acid glands. Um, okay, is there anything else I don't need on my parasol? Oui, oui, yes there is. Oui, madame. Now let's go and put away the extra next that we got. We can. Um, okay, yeah, we just, oh, we just about got enough room, guys. Just about. Okay, so that's good. Uh, do we have any good food crafting here? No, let's go and make a, uh, what should we do today? 
we could do Might Loaf, or we could do Nachos. You got plenty of nacho, okay, so let's, let's do nachos. Sounds like a good idea. It's actually quite cheap food as well, so that's pretty good. Um, what is the best weapon to kill the Roly Poly? Um, I found that a spicy Antlion Greatsword is a very good one, but if you don't have this yet, what I would recommend doing is taking a, uh, a hammer and a shield. Um, this is a tier 7 mighty insect hammer, but a tier 5 one works pretty well. I'll, uh, I'll fire Roly Poly and you. Um, because you'll see it's got it's it's not got the best stun chance. The Salt Morning Star also does good for stun chance. Um but yeah, I qu quite like the uh I quite like the um Antlion Greatsword on it. It can kill it very quickly. I think a, a mighty Antlion Greatsword will do better because the uh the Roly Poly uh resists all the damage types except Mighty. But let's see if we can find one. I do need to kill another one anyway, so you know a fight with him if we can find him. He's usually around here. He's kind of around the back of the picnic table, isn't he? Let me see if I can find where he's at. Oh, I hear him. I hear you, Mr. Rolly Polly. Hello, how you doing? Right, let me put on a light so you guys can see. Um, here you go. You got that? A little safer now. Here we go. Here you go. Coupe de Grasse 2 also helps with the crits. Yeah, and if you don't, if you can't block, just use your shield. Take, take no damage. It's really, really good. And while he's healing, don't try and attack him. There you go. Okay, are we coming down? Go on then. There you go. Critical hits help a lot in this fight. Got in. There we go. Yeah, I've used a um. Yeah, so that's an insect hammer with um the mutations I had on. Um, you probably want to use a smash mutation just to slow his attacks down. Um, but the ones I've got on is um. Yeah, I had I had cardio fan, parry master, meat shield, coupe de grass, and mithridates them with my five mutations that I have. Um, but yeah, you probably want to use um. You probably want to have smasher enabled for that point, just so you do um, just so you can help. Just so you can help with the, um, because I think the Smasher one, um, slows their attacks down. So you can, you can make them attack even slower, which might help with that roll attack. But yeah, that roll attack, I can never predict how to, predict how to block it. So I just, you know, I just hold, hold the shield up. Um, makes it a lot easier. Once you got the Antline Greatsword though, um, I'm going to have to make a tier 7 Mighty one at some point. So what we could do actually, we could make another one and see how, see how well the tier 7 Mighty one does against it, couldn't we? We could do that. Because there is other Roly Polys that we need to kill anyway to repair our armor. So yeah, we could. Yeah, so let's let let's test if a tier seven um, mighty greatsword does better than the spicy one. Because from what I from what I've experienced, he seems to take more mighty damage in, in, in general, so the mighty greatsword might be the better way to go. Um, so why don't we try it? Because the spicy one can usually kill him about well, on medium, which I'm currently playing on. The spicy one can kill him in about seven hits um, once it's fully maxed out. But a mighty one may be better. And we do have to create one anyway. So I don't know, unless I happen to have a mighty one, I think we got a salty one, but not a mighty one. Uh, I'm not too sure. Oh no, we have a salty dagger, don't we? Okay. So we need to make a mighty one. And hang on, we also need to do red ant arm guards as well. So let's go and let's go do those because it did ask us to make those. They'll make another antline greatsword. So, red ant arm guards. Let's see where are you? Red ant arm guards. One of those. Okay, let's do that, and then we'll make another. We'll make another antline greatsword. Here we go. So this guy right here. So yeah, it doesn't take too much to make. It's just a few pincers. The pincers are gonna be the hardest thing to get because they're the rare drop. But yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty good. Uh, what time is that the movie? I know it's getting late for you. Well, you you said about 9 p.m. right? So let's see. Yeah. So yeah, in about 45 minutes. I will be. Uh, I'll be available then. Okay. So let's go to our smithing station and we will go ahead and upgrade this with mighty. So our new antline greatsword that we just made. Here we go. Let's go and upgrade this with. There we go. So we'll go ahead and upgrade that, and then this time we'll choose the mighty um, effect path. Here we go. So we'll upgrade that one, and then another one. 
There you go, and now we have a tier 7 Mighty Greatsword. So what we can do now is get that one equipped instead. Um, so yeah, instead of the spicy one, let's put the Mighty one on. There we go. So, looks the same, but it might perform differently. So if it... Ooh! Uh, hold on. Nye, nye, nye. <laughs> Thank you, baby! Uh, okay, that can go there. Just for a minute. Just for a bit. Haha! -ha. We have fady dessert, yeah! Fady pudding! There you go, and um, and Queen of Vader says, nice, I only kill one. Yeah, you. I think every every one you kill is worth one piece of the armor. I would try and kill all four though, so you have enough to repair your armor, because the the one the one rule of grounded, well, one of the many rules of grounded, but one you should always remember, is anytime you want to kill a bug for armor, be pre or a weapon, be prepared to kill a lot more of them, because you're going to have to get those parts again to repair it. So essentially, if you're gonna if you're gonna want the uh, roly poly armor, be prepared to farm roly polies a little bit. Okay, let's go and get the mite loaf here, uh, or the uh, the nachos, I guess. And uh, here we go. And it's a fruit powder. Okay. So let's go find some more roly polies, shall we? Because there are gonna be some more. I, I gotta go. I gotta get another killing run of them anyway, because we're running out of parts. So. Makes a good excuse to demonstrate some weapons and see what they're like. Um, so we also need water, which I don't have. Well done, Pete. Well done. Don't bring water with you. <laughs> oh, there's, a, there's actually a juice drop down here somewhere, so should be able to find it pretty easily. There are some spiders up here that we got to be careful of, but... Oh, there is no juice drop here. That's handy. Okay, well... So how does a mighty greatsword do against these guys? Okay. Oh, that one actually got me. Yeah, so you can see the, um, you can see this, uh, greatsword. Okay. Damn, I can't even see through these webs. There you go. That's why I hate playing in third person, because you kind of get messed up on these things. There you go. Check those away. So, yeah, you can you can see that instead of three shotting an orb weaver with mighty, I actually four shot the orb weaver. So the orb weaver is definitely weaker to spicy damage. Um, Unforgiven says um, he's because he's streaming on YouTube and Twitch at the same time on Twitch chat and YouTube chat shows up at the same. Yeah, they'll 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 post to each other. Come on. Yeah, so all weavers definitely take more spicy damage. Go on. Then. But let's try this outline greatsword on a roly poly with the mighty attribute, and we'll see how it goes. But yeah, spiders definitely, definitely weaker to spicy because I can three shot them usually with the spicy one. With the, with the mighty one, not so much. So I think they're kind of just neutral. I think they're probably just neutral to mighty damage. They might be resistant to um, the other types, but I think they're just neutral to mighty. So here is another Rolly Poly. Here we go. Let's let's see let's see how well this does. Okay. Oh, that actually hurt a little bit. Okay. So I think this actually does less as well. I think spicy actually does more. Go on then. Yeah, the spicy one definitely does more, so maybe he's actually resistant to mighty. Okay, yeah, let me let me let me get it do it with the spicy one, because I think the spicy one actually does do more, interestingly. Okay, but well, there's another roly poly down here, so let's try with the spicy one. So what was that like after healing like nine or ten shots? Hmm. I says, um, have a good movie net max and all. Uh Mini needs to trick or treat. Catch you later. Happy Halloween. Night night. Alrighty then. Well thank you very much for coming along, Hollow. Hopefully you enjoy trick or treating with the mini. And uh we'll see you hopefully very soon. So bye for now. And happy Halloween. Alright, let's go in here. Oh, jump over here. 
And Queenie says, "Nice, I will try that." Yeah, let's see if um, let's see if the spicy one works better, because because uh, the spicy one has seemed to work really well. So let's try a spicy one. Maybe they are weaker to spicy damage. Maybe let's see. Oh, um, okay, maybe they are. Okay. Oh, that one, that one hurt a bit. Ouch. Okay, yep, spi spicy damage is definitely doing more. Okay, so forget what I said. The spicy outline grace sword is better. Yeah, that's even without crits. That's doing a lot more. Yeah, that is that is doing more. Okay, so maybe they resist mighty damage then. Uh, okay, spicy outland great sword is good against those things too then. Okay, lesson learned. We learn something new every day. I thought they were. I thought they were resistant to um, spicy, but I guess they are not. There is one more we can kill, but I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that for now. Because it's quite a ways away, and we have to go through like a toxic haze of uh, rotting trash to get to it. So I'm kind of tempted to just leave that. I think we're I think we're good with the amount of mental end parts we have, uh, or the the amount of stuff. Uh, stuff blah, 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 blah. I don't even know what I'm saying now. The uh, Rolly Polly parts, not endline. I was talking about the endline graceful. Okay, so the uh, the mighty one, not so good. The spicy one. Better. Okay, so yeah, that would be uh, that would be your choice once you get the Adeline Great Sword and the Spicy Gloves. You shall be dinner. Or jerky. Actually, we should make some uh, aphid jerky for Milo. That would probably be an idea. But hey, that was fun. But yeah, there you go, Queenie Boo. Probably the best thing you can uh, you can use then. As long as you're confident with, uh, as long as you're confident with parrying. If you're not so confident with parrying, I would recommend just uh, doing a one-handed weapon or shield. You shall be jerky. I shall turn you into mite loaf. <laughs> I am Max Slaughterer of aphids. <laughs> well, it's true. I just, I just literally slaughtered two aphids. It's Well, you enjoy those creatures at normal size in Final Fantasy. Do you know that, guys? Fate, Fate finds it funny that I'm a slaughterer of aphids. She, she, she finds it hilarious. She's laughing at me. That's not fair. It's not easy being Pete and being geeky and eating bugs or wearing ladybug armor. Aphids fear you, says such I know, right? I've made a trap for Aphids before the update. It was doing good. Oh, nice. Red Oak says, uh, I just got a notification for Twitch saying you're alive now. Oh, hey! <laughs> hey, go on, Twitch! Ah, <laughs> oh, notification systems, guys. Don't you love them? Hey, I'd like people who follow me to be notified when I go live. When I'm about 10 minutes from ending off the stream. Hey, Max is live right now, so come join the stream so you can actually spend more time in the person that he raids. <laughs> nah, it's fine. It's all good. At least it's not as bad as YouTube, which doesn't notify you at all. Like, that's that's the worst one. The, YouTube is the worst for that. Okay. A for jerky. <laughs> I kill those little buggers and hang them on meat hooks to dry. <laughs> then I'm just like, wait, why isn't anyone intimidated? Damn it! You like to hear that? The only thing you can slaughter is an aphid. <laughs> He's weak. All right, so I guess we definitely have enough parts um, soon, guys, to be able to go ahead in probably the next stream to go ahead and continue with our uh, museum and quests and things like that. So we've definitely got a load of stuff going on here, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and get as many of these crafting as we can, because like I said, crew rope's going to be important. This may seem overkill, but trust me, you guys have seen how many crew ropes I went through. You'll know that they add it quickly. Any of you guys who've watched me from the beginning, which I know some of you have, have watched it from the, you know, the very first episode, you guys will know. Pain and suffering of crew rope. And Hell says, popping in to say, hello everyone, occupy with spending time with the wife of the No worries, dude. Well, you enjoy, you enjoy spending time with her. There'll be, uh, there'll be plenty of time to, to hang out later, I'm sure. 
Hope you guys are having a good Halloween as well. Um, right, so yeah, we got some roly poly farts now, so I guess I can go in the roly poly box. <laughs> yeah, literally, I couldn't find anything that was like roly poly, so I chose the basketball because it was like round and it rolls, and yeah, because my, my logic is so good. <laughs> hey, it's round and it's kind of roly, and it's like a ball, so it kind of, kind of works a bit. Kind of, sort of, I, I think. I don't know. I don't know. Don't judge, don't judge me. <laughs> don't judge me, damn it. Okay. Let me go up here. Let me go this way. And then we shall pop along down and get some drinks for our canteen. There is a weevil nearby, but that's fine. We can leave him. One, two, three, and four. And now Tiny Don't P even need to boil it. won't get thirsty for a while. Well, probably for like the next five minutes and he'll be like, you know, completely dehydrated and falling over, dying. Um, how said anything on the agenda for later? Not streaming wise, but we're going to have a movie night over in Discord. So, uh, courtesy of Mr. Unforgiven774, who's going to be uh, hosting and, and streaming that for us. So that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, pain and suffering for a crew rope and aphids. Exactly. <laughs> The, there's, I, the, there's, I, I'm probably legendary among the red ants and aphids just because, like, like, did you hear? He kills us, and then with our dead bodies, he reassembles them into armor for armor dummies, and then he takes our other body parts and stuffs them with might fuzz that he slayed as he came to our anthill, and uses them as decorations in his base. The aphid, the aphid is just like the, the best part though was one day I actually uh, it was actually in the series I killed a load of red ants I literally I slaughtered an, the entire red ant hill back when they were like over sporting just so I could like clear it out and literally an aphid walked in sees all these dead ant body parts and he's just like oh shit and he like turns and runs <laughs> it was so good it was it was so amazing when that happened okay so I think that's pretty much everything sorted out and put away for now let's go and uh a little less squishy now grab the snow base but yeah we do have to work on uh, we do have to work on finishing the sign frames because as you guys know we've got some more of the sign sets along now including the science one so yeah for the for the science sign frames i think what we'll do um like i said we have to make a we have to make a shrine to burgle with all the useless crap that he makes us craft so i think actually the perfect spot for it would be like right down the back there so between between these two windows here we'll have like our burgle shrine with all the science signs um and then with all the science signs there uh we can then have like some armor stands and weapon wall mounts with just all the useless things he's made us make um there you go says uh, and and uh, and does dance yeah they, they they must be terrified pretty much <laughs> yeah those 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 red ants and aphids they they don't like me i mean part part of it, part of it was that was the red ants own fault though because you know when they get in the way of me trying to loot and then they get then they get like annoyed when I block an enemy and they get caught in my block and then start to attack me like it was my fault that they were in the way. And then they proceed to like try and steal my food. I mean, that, that, that's kind of their fault. So, you know, I, I have no sympathy for the red ants. <laughs> I take their heads and I put them on sticks. I stuff their soldiers, then make them chase stuffed weevils, which they will never catch. I thought I'm sure the ants are probably like, oh, never catches a weevil. Oh, my God. <laughs> Alrighty guys, well, I think what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to drop out of game here. Let's uh, make sure that time doesn't pass. Well, let's see, I'm in, I'm in single player actually, so that's that's fine. Um, let me go ahead and see then who is available to raid. So if um, if Hammer is not playing um, grounded, we'll see if there is anyone else who is, because I want to send some uh, I want to send some support to some small streamers as well, which is always nice. So let's go ahead and look for some grounded stuff, shall we? So let's have a look here. So Oh, there's actually a streamer called the Grounded Pilot. Interesting. <laughs> so that's not a very good pilot, unless you're a pilot of a ground vehicle. Mm, but then you're just a driver. So, haha. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, how about this one? Grounded Broodmother Prepping, eh? Um, from the Grey Hat Hacker. I like that. I like that. Let's go and uh, let's go and send one to. Uh, let's go send one to this one, shall we? Um, all right. Yeah, we'll go and we'll go ahead and send a. Re I've really got to disable this Windows. Uh, this Windows key. Um, okay. So let's go and do. Let's go and send a raid to the Grey Hat Hacker. Hopefully that has worked on the Twitchy side. Hopefully it has. 
let me just double check that we've got that queued up yes we do all right then guys so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, end off the stream here i hope you guys enjoyed this one i hope you'll have a happy halloween and an amazing rest of your day and i will see you guys in the next one so guys i'll see you in the next one until then bye i just realized i said the same thing twice but anyway bye don't judge me bye bye Thank you.